sun never rises in Necron. All right, so welcome, welcome back, everybody. Um, who wants to recap what happened in the last session? I did it last time. Uh, okay, George, how about you recap what happened last session? George. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Alright. That's basically what happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some guys went to jail. Another group murdered, uh, was it torture murdered a person? Then uh, we talked to a rich lady. She was all like, this is my house now. We're like, no, this is our house. We're like, no, we, we want this house. And Jay's like, oh man, I really want to tackle this bitch. But we're like, yeah, no, Jay, how the hell are we? How the hell are half of us supposed to recap? Because we don't know what the other half did, right? I mean, we all no, we we all um we were came together chats. and said what happened. Yeah. We all came together yeah. and said what yeah, decided. So. Yeah, there was the sharing of information. Um, so it looks like Tom pretty much hit most of the points. Um, the only other thing was Oren has a suggestion spell on the captain of the Oz, PX Art, uh, currently sitting in Stella's closet at her house. Uh, and I think you guys decided that you wanted to ask him some questions while he's still suggested to be there. Um, other than that, yeah, uh, Lady Jackie's sister, or not like Lord Jackie's sister, um, showed up at uh, Art of the Dance's uh, kind of like abandoned house and found the other group uh, finished interrogating her very intensely, apparently. Um, and found her decapitated body. Uh, she took her body, and from there she ordered you guys to leave the house, start throwing it down, and you guys tried to log her in. So we're gonna pick up from there, and we're gonna pick up, um, inside Stella's... I think you guys are at Stella's house now, because you finished talking to her about, uh... Can we, uh, assume we had a short rest? Uh, you guys can take a short rest if you want. Yeah, so at least that way I can do suggestion to uh, the closet op police officer. Okay. Um, all right, so we'll uh, we'll pick up back at uh, Stella's place. Uh, you guys are kind of uh, still like sitting around on the bottom floor. He's at the top floor in the closet. Uh, you guys are still like strategizing, and also uh, there was like a minor kind of disagreement between. Victima and Vulcan about uh, what happened to Stella earlier with her uh, arm getting like broken essentially. So we'll pick up from there. Uh, so what exactly did I miss when I, when I left? Not a lot of talking. Start fighting. Oh, it's I was just planning on what we're going to do when we get to the house. Oh, okay. We're gonna inception. We're gonna make the guard act like he knows, like he's our friend and our insider. And we're all gonna be wearing those stupid tracking helmets that project whatever we're doing to uh, the lady. Uh, what's her face? Jagdeep. Is that really our plan? I don't know. That was really convoluted. And I thought it would be fun, but uh, I think we should <laughs> just get answers from this guy and move on to what's her name's house, the place that uh, Brian's been hinting at since like day one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, we can solve this without her. <laughs> All right, let's get really complex and waste a lot of time. Um, Brian, what what level of blowback would we expect for killing one of these? Uh, He's a captain in the fucking eyes of the x oh, I'm asking yeah, what do you Brian. Think? What do you think? This, this I'll, city I'll seems pretty... <laughs> this we already pretty... killed one. We already killed one. There was no blowback. What do you mean, we? You, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he hasn't what? had any blowback. So I want to know, right, is what, like, it, it doesn't seem like, um, it seems like might makes right here. So if this guy gets killed, that's kind of like his fault. This seems to me, right? So if you guys want to play that game, we can play that game. Well, I'm asking you, what what can we expect? Okay, there, there had to be like one story of one guy killing uh, an exarch, right? What happened to that? Uh, 
we're seeing the story is going to be playing out. <laughs> <laughs> Cleric, you can perform the ritual of marriage, and then we can marry them. Oh, I want to do a history check, see if I know about a story about a exarch being. <laughs> is that what you're going to tell you? All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, give me, give me a roll. That's all right. All right. Um, the only thing that you can kind of gleam from that story is uh, that guy isn't like, uh, hasn't been heard from again. Yeah, we go on vacation. Yeah, did he go on vacation? Did like they get pat him on the back, send him someplace nicer? <laughs> we don't know. Okay, all right. We could just have uh, Arkalash kill this guy. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wipe our hands of the entire situation. Okay. He's what's a serial killer at that point. Yeah, what's one more body on Arkalash, huh? I only killed one guy, I think. <laughs> yeah. And uh, someone helped yeah. you, too. Very helped you. Yeah. Imagine, imagine saying that and thinking it's cool. <laughs> if anything, you're a letdown. <laughs> yeah, I only killed one guy. <laughs> My body Your entire naked body glows a little bit less. <laughs> the sheen dies. Okay, so we're going to go in there. We're going to suggest them. We're going to get whatever info we can out of them. And then we're just going to send them off. No, that, That's uh, what we're doing. Yes. Get the answers, then send them away. <laughs> All right. So you guys want to go upstairs and uh, open the closet and introduce yourselves? Can suggestion last their whole life? Eight hours. It's eight, eight hours, hours dude. It can if you uh. really push it. <laughs> <laughs> because I know the guy is supposed to follow it until a, such a time as he completes it. Is it just, like, for that whole eight hours? Um, if it's something that he completes, then the suggestion spell wears off. Oh, didn't so, we come up with? Didn't we come up with something about uh, suggesting that he hide the information from what's her face, so that she uh, suspects that he's a traitor of some sort, and then yeah, maybe like he Jack. gets some, and then maybe she, maybe that he gets himself killed. Because you did find out the part uh, of information about the that he might be a child of himself. That was. That yeah, was it can't of... be something <laughs> dangerous to him. It can't be something dangerous to him, or that's going to get himself killed. And he can't even think that. So, like, you're not mind you're not mind hacking them, really. You're just suggesting a course of action that shouldn't be that dangerous. If he's, if maybe you could have him bring it up to somebody, or okay. Well, she doesn't want out that that uh, what's his name is a child of incest, right? Mm -hmm. So, if we tell him that. What's his name is a child of incest, and he tells her that he knows that she would want to get rid of him because she didn't even want the exarchs that she brought with her to know. I'm out of spell slots, and I think Tom's got one. So got we two. have. You have two? Yeah, yeah. All right, we have two shots at this. So. Well, I mean, hypothetically, we can keep going half an hour, half an hour. It just needs to tie the guy up. Uh huh. Yeah, and then we short rest and get the spell back and then do it again until we get it right, right? You get yeah. suggestion back on a fucking short rest? I only get two spell slots, so yeah. He's the warlock. But you get him back on a short rest? Yeah, yeah. warlock's a bad ass. Wow, all right. That's a good spell to get back on a short rest. All right, well, go for it then. <clears throat> all right. Uh, so, um, we, uh, Falcon's going to suggest that, uh, or I'll act out. I suggest we uh, tie him up in case the spell does not take, and we have to try again. All right, here's a question. Does my suggestion spell keep going? Because I'm concentrating on it, so as long as I'm still concentrating on it, it should still keep going, even if you fail, right? Uh, game mechanic-wise, I think you can only have one spell active at a time if it's the same. Why? What makes you say that? Uh, I remember reading some sort of game rule saying that one will supersede the other. Interesting. All right. What what so what say at the GM? Yeah, what say you GM? Can we have both? Can we have nice things? Um, 
I guess I'm reading it right now. I guess if they don't contradict each other. I want nice things. I would assume awesome. that they don't contradict each other. What was his what what is the suggestion he's compelled under right now? He has to wait in the closet until I tell him to stop. And that's lasting for another however many hours. Wait two hours or left. Alright, so he has or no obligation to obey us. Hour left this point. There's an out one hour left on it? Yeah, since he has oh, yeah, a busy day. So m us finding him took seven finding these guys took seven hours? <laughs> you guys did a lot before this. Oh, okay. Fair. Alright, so uh Yeah, I'll just tie him up if he uh I mean he only has to wait in there, so I think he would fight us doing anything to him, right? Yeah, he doesn't have to stand there. He has to stand there, but he if you try to tie him up, he's under no obligation. I don't think he is under any obligation to just sit there and get his ass handed to him. Yeah, but I think he, he wouldn't be standing out. anymore. Yeah, I think basically he just has to wait there until I tell him otherwise. Otherwise, he still can talk like a normal person and everything. He's just thinking, like, I have to wait. All right, so did you say wait in there or stand in there? I told him just to fucking... Until I tell stand him otherwise. There. Yeah. I told him to stand in the closet until I, until I get him out of there. Okay, cool. Until you get him out of there. Until I tell him otherwise again. So he's he's done. He's just gonna chill there until the end of the spell, and then he's. Who knows what the hell's gonna happen then? Cause he'll remember all this shit. <laughs> all right, cool. I just want to make sure we don't uh, do anything that would uh, break it. All right, so Falcon's gonna uh, get something to obscure his face, and then uh, kind of change his normal garb. Or at least basically, he wants to obscure uh, who he is. Okay, uh, you can give me a performance roll and see how well you disguise yourselves. Sweet. All right, all right. That's... Can he just borrow my plague mask? Yeah, that would help. I suppose it would I... help. I have a plague mask. I'll lend it to you. Thank you. Oh, no, it's perfect. Uh, perception. All right, you can roll advantage. All right, so you can take the plunder. Noise. All right, uh, I'm acting <laughs> like Urklash. Okay, so you guys are gonna go up into the closet, open it up, and uh, be greeted by uh, Captain Newman. Captain Newman. I'm not um, going up there. I'm, I'm not, not going I'm up not. there without the mascot. <laughs> right, Doesn't he already know who? You he knows who Orin is, yeah, and he knows who. I guess he doesn't really know who Perry is exactly. So you open up the closet. Well, I would imagine. I was wearing the plague mask the entire time. He, I don't think he's ever seen my face. He literally what? interrogated you. With Did Perry. he take my mask off? He definitely would have. Yeah, he, he definitely has seen your face. Ah, oh, shit. All right. <laughs> Never mind then. No, fuck, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go. I'm going to keep away far away from this as I can, I guess. Okay, sure. Well, you can help... Uh... What's it called? Discipline our secretary, or at least get her sold to the uh, slavers guild to the uh, body mines. Um, I'll keep a lock uh, on the premises. Okay. So you open up the closet, uh, Falcon? Uh, no, I'm not the uh, muscle here. Uh, I'll let uh, Herkalash do the honors. Perry can do it. Oh, yeah, Perry. Yeah, you can do it. I mean, you're a paragon of uh, good. Right, this is uh, right up your alley. Yeah, and he already Paragon? seen me. He already seen me. <laughs> yeah, he's so. seen you too. Nice, Jason. Yeah, so yeah, uh, if you don't mind, Perry. All right, I open it. All right, um, you see him. He's enjoying a cigarette in the the closet, and he looks up, <laughs> eyes you up and down. So what'd you find out from the goddamn gnome? Well. I'm hiding. <laughs> I still need, I I need more information so I can get some information. We we're trying to go through like an information trade right now. Information trade. You're supposed to beat this little run to us to a goddamn pulp. Figure out what we figure out. I'm wasting my time. Well, I'm still kind of weak, and you don't want to give me any more of those Zenzu, those Zenzu beans. I told you where they are. And how are you weakened? I gave you a full Zenzu bean or Zenzu paste, forever. Right. Um, uh, Hawkins like not even in anything. Check to, to uh. like play off that you're like wounded, I guess, or tired. 
because he's not buying it. Perry's got. Persuasion? No, deception. 15. I'd like you just like telling us like, what the fucking rolls are at this point. You don't even care anymore. Nice. Yeah, he's not buying it. <laughs> I don't think I can. I think you're giving me a lot of shit right here. If your name really is even Ron Paul. And, um. <laughs> Ugh, you son of a bitch. What's really right, I'm gonna going cast on here? What's All right, really uh, going on here? Yeah, that's what I asked. I didn't want to say it, but... Alright, what's your suggestion spell? Because he's about to blast off at Perry. Alright, um... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I want you to follow every one of our orders <clears throat> without question uh, until we tell you otherwise. So, I guess it's more of a command than a suggestion. Yeah. And you gotta uh, word it in a way that makes it seem realistic. Yeah, he's not gonna listen to every order that you give. Because I might um, be like, oh, kill myself, and he's not gonna do that. Well, that would break the spell. Say... He's, he's just like asking for more wishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do whatever we say until we say otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that's legitimately what this spell says. Like, uh, I suggest that you uh, follow whatever we say and do it to the best of your abilities uh, until and we say otherwise. This is in your best interest. I think yeah, you're uh, like, hey, you won't get hurt, you know, or, you know, and we won't, and we will let you go or something. And you'll get to leave here sooner. Um, why don't you just tell him to help out? Why don't you just tell, tell him to help out in the, with our investigation? Fuck's sake. That'd be even better. Because we can get, we can, might want him to do things that go contrary to our investigation. All right. <clears throat> yeah, let's so like, make a I DC to, 13. Let's say something like, I want you to be truthful with the next like questions we're going to give you or something like that. Um, I would say something like, listen to anything that we say for the next minute, for like the next whatever, for this entire spell. It's like, that's a pretty big suggestion. It's, it's, oh, I suggest you say. Speak truth for the following questions we're going to ask you. Okay. And stay still until uh, we see otherwise. All right. Uh, what's the save? Uh, DC thirteen. Oh wait. Uh, I s before. Uh, whatever. I waited too long. Yeah. So go for it. Uh, I guess that's nice. Right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so. Falcon, uh, not knowing if the spell worked or not, will ask him, what is your deepest and darkest secret? What do you want to know? Isn't that not following the command of the uh, spell? He said to speak truth, <laughs> not to answer your questions. So. <laughs> you got to be real specific with the suggestion spell. And you, you're gonna answer all my questions for the next hour. Uh, Perry, make a save. Uh, oh my some... god! Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> reverse! <laughs> reverse! That's not a reverse! Suggestion. Reverse! That's a command. You have to be more specific. All right. All right. You uh, say that. Yeah, he would say he would suggest that you answer his questions. <laughs> Um, okay, so wait, 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 wait. Ooh, he passed. All right, he passed. He's good. Okay, can I? Oh, wait, wait, can I tell? Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, guys, look. He doesn't know that he that, that Perry passed. You guys can play, play tit for tat. Now, what's going on here? I'm starting to think your name isn't Ron Paul. What is your name? Cast the spell again. My I want name to is answer Ron questions. Paul. All right, he has a feeling that his spell, or actually, roll, roll deception uh, again, Harry. 
Persuasion. Just make up, a, just make up another name. <laughs> He's going wrong, Pop. He's sticking to his bed, all right? There you go. All right. Uh, he the spell took. All right, what's your tab? Now he's in a. He's probably gonna answer, but and he has to answer true. Um. Do you have a question? Falcons. Falcons, the one asking. Looks like he's typing. Yeah, I'm trying to conjugate my thoughts on words so i can't just tell him i want you to obey what we say i want you to do oh, no 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 so he you, you guys are gonna play like tit for tat now he's gonna he's, he's gonna ask a question and you guys are gonna answer ask a question he has to answer truthfully so as long as he answers it yeah remember like he's still looking out for his best interest but he will answer you truthfully right so what was his question he asked what's his name his name and then he pretended like he was under the spell and he passed that persuasion checks yeah, you get the answer. Ask a question now. Alright, um... What is your, uh, relationship with Lady Jagdeep? Mm. Our relationship with Lady Jagdeep, huh? Alright. <clears throat> suppose I could tell you a little bit about that. She's, uh... We're interested in a project together. You know, I looked away on something. I looked the other way on something. So, uh, you know, she provides us with some hey. arcane materials. Now, what is this stab? What is your interest in this entire Lady Jack Deep situation? Are you, is he asking Perry or is he asking me? <laughs> Perry. He thinks Perry's his little puppet. Perry! We are. Her assistant. So stupid. Okay, so right. stupid. Um, that's a harder deception. <laughs> Retarded. <laughs> Give me that. Nice. Uh, I, thought I, I thought that he duped him. Wow. Okay, it's in. That's not bad. And in what capacity do you work for her? Ah, tip attack. What's this project <laughs> that you're working with her? Well, I would imagine as her assistants, you guys would uh, have some idea <laughs> on that. <laughs> this is so bad. This dumb, George. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you tell me what capacity you guys are working in, we'll see if our department's aligned. All right. Well, since you set up that uh, the spells can, well, I guess it would break my concentration. Um, hey, can I pretend to be Perry? <laughs> sure, go for it. Uh, yeah. Um, we clean her, her dirty. No, wait. Why would she? Why would she have? We uh, we merely we merely root out spies. So we're on a need-to-know basis. Hmm. I'd say that's, that's that's that's. I think that's another deception check there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm lucky as George. Yeah. Full D twenty and add three. She thinks we do work for. Her. She does believe that you guys work for. Her, so I'll, I'll make it. A, I'll make it a sixteen. Ugh. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm running out some spies right now. Alright, he's getting a little he's getting a little antsy now. A little antsy. Good for time. Oh um oh, let me see. Uh I mean, Falcon will lean over and look at anyone else in the hallway 
but is there anything else that you guys want to add? <laughs> he wants to just recast the spell because he's getting irritated. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, he'll mentally project it because he's not actually been saying any words. Um, so. <clears throat> Yeah, Why would like... you want to get rid of the evidence of her, um, your guys' uh, dealings? I'm, I'm going to message, um, I'm going to message Falcon, and I'm going to say... speak to your mind to mind, so you don't even need the message. Sure. So I'm like, imagine I have an open chat to each one of your minds, so I'm just taking questions. Cause... Tell her that, tell, tell him that Lady Jagdeep keeps us in the dark. And she uses this as her poppets. And we only keep it as a need to know basis. And we just do her dirty work. And that's it. But we'd like to get uh we'd like to get in on some more uh stuff and we're trying to get information for leverage. So uh He still believes that we work for her, and this could be a reasonable thing. And uh I think that he'd believe that. <clears throat> uh, so, and um, what was your question, Pear? You asked the question. Perfect, come on. Uh, I'm gonna stop. I, I'm not even in the room anyway. anyway so, I think, I think George happened? just left again. So, George, George is back, right? George is here. I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. What was the? You asked the question. What was the question? Oh no. Well, um, I take it back. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, what, what was your question, Jason? Tell him, tell him that we we're, we're, we work for her, but we're being kept in the dark, and we don't know, and we're trying to get more information. We want to get, we want to, we want to play with the big boys, and apparently he knows more than us, so we're trying to get in on the on the action. Trying to get We're some trying to curry stuff. favor with our lady. We believe that there is a spy amongst our ranks. Uh, true, we may not be commissioned as spy keepers or spy investigators per se, but we have found mumblings of uh, dissidents in your ranks, and we are seeking out to gain favor with her. Now, what is your... Pos uh, I repeat my question. What do you know about the project? Hmm. You said you've heard... You said you've heard mumblings, huh? Well, <clears throat> I'm not 100% in with Lady Jack D. Beaver. So how about this? You tell me about your mumblings, and if it's sufficiently interesting, I'll tell you all that you need to know, all that you want to know. And this is him speaking truthfully. Yeah, one of your ranks, all of you, this is Falcon not speaking truthfully. Uh, one of your ranks has uncovered information that the lady wishes to keep quiet. She's gone to the extent of exterminating a investigator uh, for merely glimpsing a hint of this intrigue. So we need to know what you're doing on this project um, and if you know her secret. Hmm. You said she's killed an investigator, huh? People tell all the time to. in What, uh, would you have to know what the information this investigator came across that led to his untimely demise? You didn't answer my question. Well, it's not sufficiently interesting enough now, is it? Well, I oh, can't I'm give you the... Little, I'm just... almost getting a little bite. I need, I need the big fish if I'm going to divulge any information to you about. How the fuck are we getting, like, reverse mind hacked? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. You might be interested in answering our questions now, lest we suspect that you are the loose end. Lady Jagdeep has been very wary of your company and that of your ilk. She has even commanded them to look away more than one time for various indecencies to cover up this secret. I suspect you may know what it is. Now, what is your involvement with the project, lest we report to her that you are the leak? Alright, um, this sounds like intimidation. Um... More deception. Well, you are friendly. Not a single life. thing I've said was... 
with a lie. Um, I guess you could roll deception or intimidation scenario. Uh, B, B to 16. Got a 16. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, he'll 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 divulge his information. Um, <clears throat> well, we're working on a bit of a sorcery project. We're supposed to uh, supply uh, her doctor with some some people that nobody would really miss. <clears throat> We've been finding all that we can, you know. Just some homeless, some people that no one would miss, crack folk, not the usual. And she'll help us uh, once this uh, doctor finds uh, a way to create this army of uh, magical people. Um, she'll be supplying the Exarchs with these people. So we'll have kind of a, uh, a quid pro quo going on here. She supplies okay. us with these people, we supplied her with the bodies. It's that simple, really. We were actually supposed to go to a doctor's house today, but uh, it seems I'm running <coughs> a bit late. Uh, interesting. Uh, so the, this is me out of game saying that. Um, <clears throat> so, then you've been in contact with Mandaraya. Um, are you asking him that? Uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, she is definitely an interesting one. Yeah, she's uh, been rather close with this project. I'm not sure where she exactly came from, but uh, apparently she was trying to seek an audience with Lord Jagdeep tomorrow. Why would this happen? Well, that's some information that I'm not privy to myself. All I do is find the bodies and bring them in. Uh, so, Falcon will mentally communicate to the group, uh, shall we uh, initiate um, the turning of these guys against uh, Lady Jagdeep, or are there any questions? Because Falcon's ready to um, divulge uh, the family incestuousness. I think we should try to do some kind of intrigue thing and, and put, pit them against each other if possible. So we should cause as much dis what is that shit, uh, Shouse, uh, what is it, um, Lao Tzu, the art of war? Shice. When you, when you can turn your opponents against each other Sun, to do so. Sun Tzu? Yeah, Sun Tzu. That's essentially what he's aiming for, but I want to know if there's any other questions that you want to ask him before he, uh, starts, uh, divulging the secret. There's a bunch of corruption. What we learned, there's a bunch of corruption. The eyes of the Exarch are involved. Ask him who the Exarch is. Like, the name of the Exarch that he works for. Alright, um, and... Perry, is it Eru and Erish Kegel or whatever? Eru and Eric. Amaru? Yeah. What was the other guy? Amaru? Yeah. It's them, right? Those are the Exarchs? Yeah, Muru and the Rishka Gahal are the two of these. Alright, so we already know who it is. Never mind then. Uh, so, mentally, uh, Falcon will talk to Perry. Um, keep on deck, uh, what's it called? Um, releasing uh, or speaking to the Exarch, um, Lady Jagdeep's secret about her family, her and her brother being products of uh, incestuousness. Got it, Perry. Nice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> George. This guy. Yes, sir. <laughs> I feel like someone shared some information with you. I didn't see any of information shared with me. That's because I said it. Anyway, uh, so Falcon will tell you be ready to divulge uh, the secret that Lady Jagdeep and her brother are both children of incest and the attempt to uh, bolster magic in their family. I nod. 
All right, uh, so Falcon will be like, thank you. Uh, we'll speak to the uh, Exarch. You've been very forthcoming. You've given us a little bit more clarity. Now, is there anything you wish uh, to ask us in all fairness? Well, what's this information? You said an investigator was killed for it. Well, that's interesting. Um, the information is about some children of incest who, um... Lady Jag and her brother. Them. And I was just gonna allude to it, not without saying uh, it, okay. but... Yeah, Lady Jag Deep and her brother. Incestuous together. They've always been... They've always been pretty weird. Well, now everybody should know why the marriage failed. So let's see, yes, he is incestuous with his sister. Is that what you're telling me, Rob? Falcon will say that they are children of incest, and they also bore a child. They are children of incest who also partake in incest. <laughs> who have a child of incest. Honestly, how even bad is that in fucking the crone? I'll have to take this up with the Muru. <clears throat> Incest is, uh, something he doesn't seem to take too kindly to. <coughs> He's a bit of a racial purist. Oh, nice. Something's more pure than that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, very well. Is that all the questions that you have for me? Uh, Arun, uh, not Arun, uh, Falcon will be like, you fool, you've told him. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. The lady is killed for this secret. <laughs> Dude's deception. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, deception. Wait, the lady, the lady has killed for this secret? It's true. That's true. That's not even a, that's not even a lie. That's yeah, not a lie, true. boy. That's true. That's, that's facts. <laughs> it's like, yeah. he, no, it was, it was just a meme because he was pretending like, oh no, you told this thing that we didn't want. That'd be more for <laughs> deceit then, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Or no, not deceit, uh, performance. I guess performance too. Um... Sweet, consistency. <laughs> <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> he failed to lie and he failed to perform the lie. You know, one out of five is a <laughs> struggle with this. <laughs> exaggerate the truth. Well, it serves as leverage, too. This is something clearly the family wouldn't want to get out. It would ruin them amongst the nobles. Oh, we have our chip. This will serve us quite well, I must say. Uh, what, uh, what proof do you guys have for this now? I'll need something more tangible to help them way this over their heads. Don't give this guy anything else. We've already given him enough. I'm gonna be like, you... If you really want something tangible, you'd, you'd get some... some samples of their blood. Their bloodline. Find out where they really came from. Yeah, examine their DNA. I was, I was gonna say... I was gonna say... <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna... I didn't... I was gonna say DNA, but I was like, oh shit, I forgot what the fuck time period. It's fucking bad. Wait, I mean, even in the medieval time, they'd know about genetics, right? There was still, like, you know, plant genealogy and stuff then. I, 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 I'm gonna say the best the best form of finding out the truth is, um, does, do they have anything from, um, I guess the incest would have been from their mother to their father, or... Find out who their true parents are. No. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Yeah, you just gotta find out who their true parents are. You know, you could raise the, you could talk to the dead. You could literally go to the fucking dead and just have them tell them, right? There, we have the book. Yeah, you got enough. Yeah, but we don't want to divulge that. 
Let's get the fuck out of here. All this right. guy, we, we've given this guy yeah, more than he's given us. Why? <laughs> so, uh, Falcon will end it with, like, if you want proof, you should look for the doctor. Doctor. Find the one who gave birth to them. <laughs> the midwife? Yeah. Well, we intend to visit the doctor. According to Ron, she is perhaps all right. So we'll take a visit to her, see if everything's up and at him. And, um, and uh, Wait, um, hold on. The doctor, as in the doctor we killed? The doctor you guys yeah. killed. Yeah, they're not going to get anything from her. No, but, uh... He I'll doesn't know that she's once. dead yet. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, the lady, the doctor, is the one that would be able to confirm this tale, so be careful. <coughs> All right, well, <clears throat> this was quite useful. Um, I guess the spell's over, so he's gonna he's gonna head out. I mean, you guys said you don't have any more questions for him, right? My spell's over. What about uh, Falcons? I did tell him to stay there, and uh, as part of the uh, suggestion. I thought he was just had to stay there until all the questions were answered. No, I just said until we're done. Yeah, I think he asked if you guys were done. And then you guys didn't answer. All right. That's an <laughs> assumption. <laughs> it's okay. So he's still here. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Falcon will mind talk. You guys done? Let him free. I don't see any reason why we need to gum this guy up anymore. He's almost certainly being traced, and so are we. We need to get the fuck out of here. And don't let him, him back his helmet. Let me get out of here. I mean, I'm gonna give him back the helmet from the Eye of the Exarch. Alright, Ron. It was nice, but my lord, he's still alive with her. Mm, indeed. Well, you proved quite, uh, you've all proved me quite helpful. Now, where's, uh, the little gnome? I'm hiding. I'm not. <laughs> I'm <am> fucking hiding. <laughs> well, we buried him alive to, um, torture him. We'll dig him up in, like, a couple hours. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna do? <laughs> That's what we said we did. <clears throat> Alright, fine. You know what? I guess I'll head back and, uh, some men, bring them over. I got some paperwork to do. I gotta visit this doctor. Give me a lot of interesting information that I need to follow up on. Now, if I may. And he's gonna like tip his head. Well, you also need a lozenge, but that's another story. <laughs> uh, Falcon will let him go. You're all gonna be on your speed. way, but be careful with that secret. Indeed. All right. Um, he's going to head out then after that. Uh, he's just gonna oh. waltz down the stairs, shove the door open, and he just like hurries out. Yeah, Falcon's leaving. He's not sticking around. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and I'm ditching this fucking hat, this this mask of the eyes of the Exarchs, wherever I can, just in the dumpster. I'll give it to a kid. That's what I'll do. I'll find some sc scoundrel or something. Give it to can them. They, can they trace where it is? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty much okay. locational. Uh, so, Falcon will tell, uh, Urkelash, uh, that he doesn't need to, uh, clench his pectorals anymore. Alright, I'll relax them. And make sure that he gets a full glimpse of, uh, the secretary. <laughs> no, no, whoa, no! <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> doesn't bother anymore than you need to. So, uh, yeah, uh, Falcon will broadcast, I think, would be in our best interest to leave now. Just throwing that girl under the bus, huh? Can I, can I, uh, give... I'm gonna tell her that we should, she should come with us. You're gonna ask all of you guys? Yeah, tell her that her place isn't safe right now. Well. Are we going to, are we going to ski X? Is that where we're going next? Yeah, we're gonna go to the, uh, well, I mean, that's where Falcon wants to go, and which suggests is that we go to the ex-wife's place now, Rosenthorn. 
Sure. Hey guys, I actually got to hop off because I got I got that early morning meeting tomorrow. No. Oh, All right, no. tackle someone, Jay. Yeah. Too late. Too late. <laughs> All right. Be good, guys. All right, I'll just, tackle I'll, Stella. I'll, I'll be Go sure. Tackle to Stella. And I knew that you meet. All right. Love you, Jay. I love you. Wait, Mercy, Ooh. tackle her brother. Put him to sleep forever. <laughs> Alright guys, peace out. Peace. Nice. This, that, this makes two sessions that he hasn't tackled somebody. Right? Oh man, an opportunity was yeah, actually going to work recently. Alright, um, so you guys head out then? You guys are just going to walk out the front door? No. Uh, if there's a back door, we'll take it. Otherwise, Vulcan will jump out a window. <laughs> on the first floor, he doesn't yeah. want to go out the same way that. Uh, just because, just because Brian said it, Templar like just because Brian made it sound suspicious, doesn't mean you can't go out the front door. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. Wait, did you guys, <laughs> did you guys go out the window? Front door. Is that what you guys are doing? See, if, if, you ask, if you ask, if you ask, if you ask me weird, you are like. <laughs> <laughs> Vulcan's not a, uh, a rogue. He doesn't know these things. He just knows that he doesn't want to uh, be uh, looked at by the Exarch. All right. Or oh, I guess Victima, you were you were looking outside, right? Yeah, you was checking the perimeter. Um, I'm actually gonna do a quick secret roll and see if he knows something. Uh -oh. Hey, I'm standing. I'm standing watch outside, Brian. What's your passive perception? You know what my passive perception is, bitch. Is it 21? 20? <laughs> oh, it's 21. Oh, so you actually beat it. Um, <laughs> nice. You, notice, yeah. you do notice that there's some movement on the rooms outside, actually. The rooms? Yeah, there's like two two figures, uh, two dark figures on the roof outside, actually. All right. Is that like towards the front of the house or the back? Um, it seems kind of like they're around, like, the house a little bit, actually. Like, they've been moving so, like, between the rooms and the rooms. So, if our house has four sides, north, south, east, west, and the front of the house is north, and those guys are west and... Uh, I guess the way it's looking like, one, or you have a feeling that there might be a shadow through the front door? And there might be one on top of the roof of your like current house. Oh, okay. like, current house. Oh, uh, on top of the roof of our house? Yeah. Uh, what does he look like? Uh, you couldn't tell. Uh, they're a little fast. Um, when did they come? When the guy left, or were they like there as they they were talking? Uh, this was happening as they were talking, and as the guy left, um, like he just walked out with like no issue. Essentially. All right. This this open communication between Vulcan and I and and the group is that extend to me or am I too? Um, I guess you. Well, I guess it's up to Vulcan if he shared that information with you guys. I mean, you guys could talk it out and share some information for sure. We need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, Vulcan would be a hub, especially if there's a threat. So he'd uh, disseminate it all. Okay. Um, so what I could do is, <coughs> or maybe you could do something. Um, <clears throat> can you cast darkness or something like that to secure your escape from the house? Uh, yeah, I can cast uh, darkness. Uh, maybe do that and guide the the party outside of outside of the darkness. So I'm casting darkness inside the house, and then we're all leaving. Uh, I would cast. I, I would cast it like outside the house, so then you could leave, and there's darkness outside to obscure like anybody seeing you leave. Okay. Uh, I mean, is or, there any cover thirty feet from the door's entrance because we'd be visible within thirty feet? If no, I'm saying cast darkness outside. Like when you exit, you're exiting into the. Yeah, but I mean that's a thirty foot distance. It's not like it's forever so we have to be leaving into and going into something as soon as we exit the darkness uh so what's the situation of the house brian are over there side streets are there i can show you the outside actually do that oh yeah you 
<laughs> it just happened to have a fucking combat map ready. <laughs> Whoa, that's weird, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Shit. That's what it looks like outside. Uh, you guys aren't outside yet, you're still in the house. I'm outside. But that's what it, I guess you're outside then, sure. What do, what, what do, I don't see anything. Um, you see, you saw something on this roof, and something's on your roof as well. I don't see anything. I'm on the same map as old. You're on the same map? I'm gonna refresh. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, now I see it. It's because I did separately you guys, so I have to drag you each time now. So there you go, Sean. You see it? No, no, Brian, just, just drag them onto the player tag. And they'll just follow the player tag wherever it goes now. Oh, sick. Okay. All right. Nice. That's how you rejoin the rest of us. There you go. All right. So, I. Do you see it now, Sean? I put you onto the player tag now, so you should be fine. So this roof. There's something up there. Up there. And something went on this roof as well. Okay. Uh. So if you cast darkness. Like there, you can cut down that alley. Um, would it be suspicious if there was an, a fog outside the house? Would they suspect that somebody casted it? Or would it just be like, oh, there's a fog run. Rolling? I mean, there's not a fog there now. And if a fog appears, it might be weird, yeah. Especially if I, I mean, with the, with, the, with, the, with the last... You know, map we were, with the last map we were on, it seems like fogs a pretty normal thing around here. So. <laughs> it, it is a little, it is a little foggy sometimes. Um, it would just depend on if they, if whatever, if it was a, like audibly casted and heard also. Um, nobody has any spells. Nobody else has spells. I got darkness, and that's it. Uh, and some other like mental interrogation spells, but that's pretty much it. Okay. Well, my suggestion is that you guys um, cast darkness in this area and cut down this alley, or this area and cut down this alley. Either one. How is minor illusion used? Can I make it so I could have a minor illusion that like it looks like it's running in the other direction or or going around the corner or something? I think only silent image can move like that. Uh, minor illusion just puts like a static image there. Uh huh. How about a minor illusion to make it seem like you guys are still inside the house when the darkness is cast, and then you guys escape, and that minor illusion is still going on while you guys are. What is minor? Let's see what minor illusion does. Is there any uh, windows on the side of the house? Uh, yeah. There's one that's on the side of the house. So, I'll, I'll do a minor illusion why, of myself standing. Why doesn't... Why okay, doesn't, well, yeah, all right. So if there's, why, like... Why doesn't we send out the hawk to survey what's on the rooftops? No. Uh, he's currently following um, uh, whatever Lady Jagdeep. Oh, true, he is. So he's not... Uh, there, he'll he'll come back to me if whatever he's done, but whenever he, I mean, whenever he follows them to where they're going, but it's not with me right Is now. the dog psychic now? Does the dog talk? The dog's the dumb. Dog's dumb, now. <laughs> dog is dumb, right? <laughs> is he a psychic <laughs> dog now? <laughs> <laughs> he's got superpowers. <laughs> um, I don't know how pressed we are for time. I would say you could always ritual cast the dog again. I mean, the the owl again. Um. Or just cast a darkness, use a minor illusion, make it seem like you guys are still inside the house, and cut down. Or put the darkness down one alley and head out the window down another alley, and they'll think that you guys went down the other alley with the darkness in it. Well, for funsies, I could rip, I could cast uh, Unseen Servant and put a cloak over him and have him run a distance. Uh, I don't think they can run. They could walk. I could try to escape casually and then see what happens with the guests on the roof. And we go in the opposite direction. 
I guess you could do that. You could ritual cast that too, right? Well, I don't know if we have enough time to. to um, I don't know what these guys are doing. All right, can I tell what? I mean, can you what? Tell what these guys are doing. Uh, that's where you are right now. Um. Well, I, what, the way I saw it, I was on our roof, but you put one of our, one of those guys on. Oh, you were. I figured you were downstairs, like outside here. Just like. No, I was like. like I was perched atop our roof. Keep. Did you say that? Well, I said I'm going to stay outside, but the way, the way I imagined in my head, I was on top of the roof. Oh, yeah, maybe you should have said that. Maybe I, I should have. Rooting like that. Batman. <laughs> 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 I'm not just standing in front of the house, like, log gagging. That's what I thought about. You're just looking at How dark is it? If you want to put me on a, on another roof, I could be on another roof. Um, if, even if you're on the roof across from the house, that's something else. Mm. How dark is it in between the alleyways? <coughs> um, it's just like it's like regular visibility. It's a little like dark, a little shady, um, but not like pitch black or anything. You can still see. There's like peaks of sunlight. Like the sunlight is very weak. I would say it's like almost like it's always like almost nighttime. It looks like. All right. Well, uh, we need to get out of this house, and uh, whichever way we go, we'll attract attention. If we cast darkness, they'll know something's up in the darkness. We need a distraction to have them look el and elsewhere rather than try to hide our escape. My minor illusion could do sounds as well, so I could have like the sound of a crashing window, and I could throw the hat of the eyes of the Exarch at the thing <clears throat> out the window. By the way, we need to get rid of those things right now, <laughs> immediately. Okay, really minor illusion. Mine. Minor illusion, darkness, one side of the house. Escape the window, other side of the house. Got it. Let's go. Do it. Alright, um. Yeah, so but, cast a... Wait, 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 wait. Did wait. you guys notice me, Brian? Huh? You. Did you guys notice did me? Did you get rid of them? Did you get rid of your mask? Does anybody um, else have the IDF dark mask? I have and one. So far, you seem to be un unharassed. So, you need to get rid of it before we try and escape. I'm on top of Kazadar. <coughs> I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to walk away a little bit. I'm on top of Kazadar. Okay. So, I suggest you just leave it behind in the house or something. Why don't we have the eyes of the Exarch staring at a minor illusion? Arun, you can make the noise. I'll make a character of interest for the um, minor illusion and then we'll have the mask stare at it. That's what I'll do. I'll throw the mask out the window, and then uh, you have minor illusion as well. If you throw the mask out the window, they're gonna know. Well, they can track the one in Urkelos, right? I don't think we need to worry about the mask if they're tracking anything. Oh, it's to make a yeah. noise, and then my minor illusion will be a picture, an image of me on the ground looking for the mask. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll have the monitor. I'm throwing the mask out the window. I'm going to have an illusion of me looking for it, and then we're going to dip out the other side. Time for action. Vulcan cast darkness in this alleyway. Okay. Um. Oh, he'll actually try to open the window slightly before, just to see if it's actually possible to open the window. Uh, does anyone here speak Abyssal? That's actually the one time I didn't take it. No. no. I guess no one speaks Abyssal. Um, you hear someone talking in Abyssal. Wait. Oh, do you speak Abyssal? Oh, I, all right, can, I think damn I it. How, it. Loud, how loudly are they talking? Because I can understand. I understand. Oh, you can? <laughs> um, all right, you hear... <clears throat> what the hell, brother? And you hear another voice. I'm just going to nuke the damn thing. <laughs> Go! Go! <laughs> Get out of there! Uh, Get out! How close, how close are you to that window? And that darkness you're casting, Vulcan, because he's shooting the fireballs, he's gonna come hurtling down. I mean, I'm at the window trying to open it to see first if I can do that, because I'm not gonna cast darkness, then find out the window doesn't open. Oh, yeah, the window opens, and then, yeah, you Wait, okay. are you escaping from the darkness side, or are you escaping from the side that doesn't have dark? The other side. 
cast darkness here, we go this way, right? That was the plan? That's Yeah, that's <laughs> the plan. You don't escape the darkness route. Okay, that was not clear to me. <laughs> yeah, people, they would, they would, of course, they'd expect you to escape the darkness route. That's why you head the other way. But we're tossing the damn minor illusion and the mask in that egg side. In we're not this, going that way. In the darkness way. In the well, darkness way. Well, wherever no. the darkness is cast, they shot yeah. a fireball. A fireball. Out. All right, some, All right well, yeah, you're in the city. darkness outside the window. You're... All right. <laughs> you can actually see someone on the roof that has On my roof? On this roof. A fire fireball came from this person up here. In Biggin. Okay. All right, we got a tiefling, warlock, sorcerer, let's, something on the roof. Let's dip. <laughs> There's only how many of them? All right, I, I only see two, Brian. Right? Um, you see oh, one right now, but you're certain there's another one on the other roof, but you can't quite see them. Well, right. I don't know if you guys want to take them, but there's just only two of them, and one, and they don't they don't notice. And it looks like the house is actually catching a little bit from this fire. Let's. <laughs> Or I guess it's this what's her name's house, right? So only Falcon could actually see this fire because this fire is in darkness. Yeah. This is what's uh, her name's house, right? Yes. Eldritch so Blast. Send her outside the house. Tell her it's on fire and to go get help. Just like distraction. See if they shoot. <laughs> okay. Falcon uh, will relay that uh, to someone else because she's not going to listen to him. All right. Yeah. I'm hitting this guy with an Eldritch Blast. Oh, so they see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, you um, related two of the them. The plan so, fell um, apart. Good job. All you hear, right. You hear the guy cast right. fireball say, Ooh, "Found one," as uh, Terry reveals himself. And then the other voice says, "In the York." They're after. He's like, "Oh, I don't, I don't see that one, brother." They're after the orc. Okay, uh, I'll climb on top of this roof over here, Brian. Okay. Uh, give me that roll, uh, Elgin Blast, to use. Uh, that's gonna be a God miss. damn. Hmm. This bounty doesn't that's seem to be very good. good. You hear that, uh, Victima. Okay. And then I'm going to move under his building so I'm out of his line. <laughs> okay. Right here. Suppressing fire! I'm gonna tell. Um, I'm pretty sure I Vulcan told you to watch my dog. Oh, let's do let's do initiative now, actually. Yeah, ah, I'm pretty sure. Sake. I'm pretty sure I told you guys though. There's a guy on top of your roof, so if you're not visible to the guy that's on your <laughs> roof, there's a guy that can see you from the other roof. Uh, everyone roll initiative. Before all this goes down, could I message uh, Stella and tell her to get her brother out of this house because it's on fire? Um, yeah, that's not gonna cost anything. You can just tell her. And she'll <laughs> run upstairs to collect her brother. We had a short rest, right? So I got my HPs back. Y'all got your HPs and stuff's back. Do paladins get spell slots back for nope. doing? That's just warlocks. Uh, uh, as far as I know. We just oh, don't get it. Are we all rolling initiative? Uh, you get like one back, I think. Yeah, everyone roll initiative because we're doing the turn thing. And I'll have my guys. What am I'll have my guy roll. So victim is on a pier, not a roof. Yeah, but you can you can see from there. You're just shooting up. 
so they probably get plus two AC if you're shooting from that pier. Because <clears throat> they have like some cover given their location. Damn, pal. How'd you get a fraction? <laughs> it's mathematical. <laughs> Threw some buy in there. Yep. 60, yeah. You have a point sixteen in your uh, intelligence modifier for some reason. I was uh, just say that's high, but that doesn't make sense. Uh, Sean, are you gonna roll? Uh, Discord crashed. We're level five, right, Brian? Or uh, maybe five, six. Level for level four. I'm gonna fix my mm. HP really quick. I'm gonna do my HP rolls. Hmm. Um. Some people can't hear in this room anymore. It's gonna crash. Is it just Jason? Because I can hear you. Mm. No, uh, someone else just left. No, Sean said he. Sean has been talking to you, Sean said it crash. Yeah, some shit HP. <laughs> what channel is everyone? I guess we can go through the regular action server. Jason's there too. All right, I'm gonna go to the um, the one that we have the uh, base campaign one in. Uh, the one where I was at in the first place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I joined the space campaign on uh, George and uh, Tom. I'm gonna re-roll that. Can I re-roll that again? Re -roll Those what? HP rolls? No. <laughs> you, you get what you take. What you get. God damn! God damn! Yeah, you got some shit rolls there, buddy. You get wrecked. Alright, um, we're gonna try roll 20s. Uh, do you know how to activate your voice, uh, George? Yeah. Alright, everyone activated their voice in the little let's try that. Uh... Uh... chance that those laurels to this HP is shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the way the computer rolled my HPs. Harry's HP is max 29. <laughs> ah, video. Oh, someone has video. No, I just turned it off. Hey, want to see my pretty face? Okay, you can see my pretty face. The pretty face. This is why they call me uh, the sexy Tom. Not too much. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, is everybody else coming? Or it's just us. I mean, I had to reload uh, to get the permission for audio to work again, so that's probably what they're doing. 
So did uh, Falcon suffer anything from the fireball, or uh, no? Nothing. All right. <laughs> Fast patient. So wait, what was that? I couldn't hear you over the tapping. Okay. Cool. All right. Can I have a surprise round or no? All right. Put it on. Uh. All right. I'm gonna. I'm on top of the roof. I'm gonna have. Can Catherine and I just take the same turn instead of like separate turns or no? I think it'll make more sense to just have both of us take the same turn. So you both do eight? How about we go in the middle and we give it a nice, <laughs> a nice in between number there. I'll take it separate then, fine. <laughs> mm -mm. I mean, 20 is in between both, right? Yeah, that's good. I'll take a 15, Brian. Fifteen or a sixteen? Sixteen. Why don't you just subtract eight from uh, twenty-one? What's the, whatever the difference is, divide, divide by that by two. Yeah, and then add that. Thirteen. So six point five. Sure, I'll take a 13. I mean, half is 6 points. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll let those guys go before me. Whatever. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you can move me or Cazador to 13, yeah. No, he's dead. It's the Corona. <laughs> <clears throat> Jason's not even in the game, so I think he thinks his internet messed up. We will play for him. He is last anyway. Uh, Jason texted me. Uh, his internet sucks. I think he thinks Discord fucked up when... I think he thinks his internet fucked up, not Discord. Yeah, something's wrong with his internet. Okay, well we'll play for him for now, I guess. I like it. I like it a lot. Get fucked. Oh. Yeah, he'll throw a javelin at him. That's <laughs> that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna get angry and throw a javelin. Let's do initiative for Urkelash first. Can we do it for him? Oh right, we can use his character sheet. Where is he? All right, I'll roll from. Internet seems kind of slow. I think I just clicked it and did it, but it's not showing up. Five. <laughs> Shut up. No goddamn advantage.
Damn these warlocks. Oh. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Let's go. This song is familiar. What's this is from a show? With bugs? Hello, name. Oh yeah, right. I got that game, I just keep I'm surprised you haven't. Water? This is water? <laughs> yeah. I kept on telling you you're on a pier, not a roof. That looks like this looks. This looks. All right. First, all right, I didn't even look down there. I thought I was on a roof. Yeah, I thought this was a building. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I guess I was. Okay. I thought I was on. I thought this was a building that just like you saw the inside for some reason. I didn't even look to see the the boat on the side there. Okay. Um, so there's no know. water in there, is there? That's not water, right? That's water, boy. It looks dirty like dirty water. It looks yeah. like dirt. They got plus two to their AC if you're attacking. All right. Can we just do this a little differently then? <laughs> uh, Kazuda brought me up. Kazuda brought me up here. <laughs> And let's just have Kazura be right here, all right? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Does that sound good to you? Sure. <laughs> all right, and Kazura is going to dash to this guy. Whoa, he's going to have to jump up his roof, boy. What do you mean, dash? He can climb. He's got climb. Oh, he's, he's got regular climb. He's, he's, he's got 40 movement and 40 climb. Yeah. All right. He can't do anything after that. Um. And then, can I yell at these guys? Can they hear me from over there? Yeah, the one guy's gonna actually yell out to um, the guy that has the words next to him. Yell out to his uh, guy across the street. <sighs> I told you the hunter was involved in this brother. It's your duty to take him out. Carry on. I'll get. I'll collect the bounties. And so yeah, gonna start, like, they're going to start going like, back and forth at each other, arguing about who's the bounty hunter. I will inform the party that they are bounty hunters of some sort, and they are after us, I guess. Or no, they're after... We, I at least know that they're after Urkelash. And they mentioned Perry, too. Oh, and they mentioned Perry? Okay, so <laughs> they're after... It looks like the comeuppance for killing that guy is, is, is now at hand. <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> Um, I guess we gotta get rid of these bounty hunters. I'm gonna tell them, look, there's no way you can beat all five, six of us. One, two... Are you saying this in Abyssal? Yeah, I'm saying it in Abyssal. Oh, and he speaks our language, brother. <sighs> all five, all six of you, please. You, you lot don't seem like you're... I mean... The 20 puns that you guys are worth. You don't even seem worth five. Yes, we aren't. So whoever's <laughs> telling you they're gonna pay you that is probably not a good probably not a good deal. And you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to collect because you're gonna be dead. Keep coming after us. Uh, well the courts are pretty trustworthy and they do fit the descriptions. Uh, would you care to share their names with us? Uh the barbarian and the paladin? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we're interested in knowing the names of our targets. You know, we just saw a description and found them. You know, <coughs> traveling the streets. All right, if you're coming after my friends, I'm coming after your life. Ooh, fun. <clears throat> I'm going to fire at that guy. All right, so the mage? Right, so the... Yeah. Okay. Uh, bonus, I'm going to Hunter's Mark. And then... What's the range on this mark, John? Oh, facts. What is the range? 
That's the Probably reason not I that got one. Them bow. I got a heavy crossbow, so. That's 120, right? Be long. My internet is acting up. Uh... I think there's something going on with online services. Oh shit! For real? Because I clicked Hunter's Mark. I didn't click Hunter's Mark. I clicked my attack, and that didn't really pop off there. Oh, there it is. Twenty, twenty hits. See, it clicked it like thirty seconds ago, and then it came up, and I clicked it again just now. And it's taking a while to come up now again, I guess. Spells, Hunter's Mark. Uh, so you're gonna take uh, ninety feet. Am I ninety feet away from this guy? I think I'm. I think I'm ninety feet away from this guy. Uh, you're eighty-five. Yeah, perfect. Alright, so that's going to do how much damage? Um, I clicked it. Oh, there you go. Six. Right, six. Plus, okay, and ignore the other one. Uh, and then I roll a 1d6. Just take it forever to roll. Six. Piercing. Twice. Cool. Yeah, right. Um, roll a 1d6 for me, Brian, and then just use that for the, the damage you're going to add on top of that guy. Oh, wow. That's, okay, there we go. Let's take a look. Yeah, I don't know. What the fuck? One, two. Take me two seconds. Alright, uh, Oh, no, wait. Use my five. Use my five. <laughs> Use my five. <laughs> fuck you, too. Fuck you, too. It came out. It came out, Brian. It came out twice. <laughs> Twice, Brian! I cut the twice this game out! We gotta use the five! We got two twos also! Vulcan, don't let- Vulcan was testing his shit. Alright, wait, can I hide behind- can I hide behind this thing? Probably not. No. That's going Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna go prone. Okay. And I'm done. Sniper position. Yep. Do you have disadvantage on deck saves when you're prone? Don't tell me he's going to start casting spells at me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and yeah, he's going to yell out, oh, that, that actually hurt a little bit, brother. All right, fine. I guess you win this round. I'll get the hunter. Damn right. Hey, wait, you guys, you guys said you were going to... You had your targets. And they're going back and forth again. He's gloating that he's going after me, but he hasn't going to get the hunter anymore. Uh, Perry, your turn. I'm gonna say, you pussy, you can't come down here and finish me off. <laughs> uh, he readies another bolt. <laughs> I don't think I like your tone. I'm like, I'm gonna treat you like your pussy brother, and I'm gonna shoot her with an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> okay. Oh, it, it doesn't matter, Brian. I don't have, I don't have, uh, I don't have, a uh, disadvantage. Okay, uh, your damage, uh, Mr. Perry. <clears throat> Alright, 18 hits. Can't you put your shit in your sheet, George? <laughs> I, I can't. I, shut up. <laughs> hey, oh, he's back. Um, I think this one might be back. Alright, uh, he'll take an uncanny dodge. And he'll take half of that, so he'll take four damage. I hit your sister. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> and he's gonna grit his teeth. I'm a, I'm a guy. God damn it! <laughs> and the other guy just starts laughing. <laughs> Please, yes. This, this is, this is great. 
it. Uh, Falcon, it's your turn. All right. Um, <laughs> so, uh, is it still burning outside in the, the darkness? Uh, the darkness is still burning. Um, it's probably going to spread when we get back to uh, the first turn once around ends. Uh... Hulkin will shape water and attempt to put out the fire. Okay. So any water that's in the building, uh, he will shape it to extinguish the flames so he can essentially go out into the uh, darkness and just sit there pretty. Alright, I guess you could say that you could turn on the sewage or have uh, Bella turn on uh, well, the on the sewage um, so you can get some potable water and then you could use that to um, start extinguishing the flames. So I'd say, um, yeah. You, uh, you put this fire out. Neat. I do that. Alright. Um, and you're staying inside, I guess? Or that's it? Uh, yeah. Uh, for now, I'm staying inside. Alright. Uh, Orin, it's your turn. Uh, there's these two guys on the roof. Can you hear me, Jason? What does the pause mean? I mean, I guess it pauses your video, right? I mean, Jason's back on Discord. I think it was just an overall thing, uh, not just a specific program. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can see you too. Yeah, we can see you. All right. I don't know what the fuck happened, but Discord is like shot on my computer now and on my phone. Like nice mustache. Yeah, it looks like it's shot on my. It's shot on my phone and my computer. Oh, like, it looks like it's up now. Yeah, I see you on. Oh, Discord's shot on my computer and my phone. It just doesn't work anymore. Charlie right says now. you're online. It, I can't see anything. I have it literally <laughs> loaded uh, up. Close it and bring it up again. I guess let's just keep using real funny because this is like working so far. Enough. Sure. Uh, just for speed's sake. All right. Yeah, so it's your turn, Jason. Yeah, it's your turn. Uh, these two guys, they seem to be bounty hunters after the ferry and the rock. Um, I, um, hold on a second, I can't even see what's happening. I'm zoomed really way in on it somewhere. Uh, okay, now I see the map. What's happening now? I, I kind of lost you when a fireball hit the building. That's the last thing I saw. Yeah, it seems like these two, these two bounty hunters that seem to be after Perry and the Rewatch. Um, one is some kind of spellcaster, and the other is some kind of rogue, and they're currently fighting your party. Great. Alright. Did I do anything in the time I was gone? Nope. Uh, as soon as you got back, it was your turn. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see about my thing here. Uh, what can I- I'm out of spells, so... <clears throat> Did I do that minor illusion, throw the mask out the window thing, or no? Um, you could have, but I guess combat started. I guess see what happened. All right, can I see anybody from where I'm at? Uh, if you step outside, you can definitely see the down the roof. But you'll get like a plus two to the AC just because you're shooting up. Unless you want to get on top of the roof or something. Because I'm shooting. Hey, why don't you up climb the roof? What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> He's got, like, yeah make yourself a target. I see. Okay. Um. Yeah, can I get up there somehow, or no? Um, I mean, I'd say you're probably still on the second floor. Um, it'll be like 15 feet of movement to climb, which is all your movements, so you could bring yourself up to the roof. You know? Oh, doesn't- don't saves just neglect that completely? What do you mean? Call the dead? Wouldn't that just completely- uh, yeah, just make a wisdom save or take 6, or, or 12. Oh, sure. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, you're doing that to this guy over here. Uh, which, that's the guy, that's, is that the guy I can see? Is he attacking oh, yeah, my party members? Yeah, you can see, yeah. He's attacking your party members. He's the one that shot the fire. Yeah, 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 I'll do that then. 
Uh, and then, did he take any damage so far? Uh, yeah, he took some damage, yeah. Then it's double yeah. that, or wait, it's, um, something else. Let's told the dead is different if he takes... No, it's a d12, d12. I gotta roll him with a d6, so... Let's see if you make the save first. Okay. Alright, I guess he failed. Nice. Right. I gotta roll another d6. So take nine. Oh, also Whoa, my, uh, my 22. <laughs> yeah, roll a d12. Oh, okay. Uh, then I'll do that. It could be higher. <laughs> my 22 uh, initiative didn't count. <laughs> For some reason, he had six. Point one six. Oh, I literally got a 22. He rolled twice. I tried to roll, but my game was crashing. The last yeah, thing I did. He rolled uh... twice. You should have won. His first one is 22. That's some, that's some decent damage. Uh, the guy's bloody and he's gonna go, ah, fuck. Now taking some heat here. What are you doing? And his upper barber is gonna be like, uh, just suck it up. I think that little guy down there is right. You're a little girl after all. Who's talking to you? It's like, what? They're both little You're just girls. Come back anyway. <laughs> Where was it? Wasn't there a, an I is the XR guy right over here? Where did that guy go? That was a mistake. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it was. <laughs> All right. Uh, is that? It? I guess it'll be Urquhart. Yeah, I'll just dip behind the window or whatever. Okay. Urquhart is just gonna throw a spear at someone. All right. Um, if he's down there. Then yeah, plus two to the guys. So, uh, Javelin. Damn, son. <laughs> There's some rolls over here. There's some serious rolls. Right Does Jay rage? Oh yeah, Jay would be raging. Big, big. What's raging do? Resistance, yeah, so he just has bonuses and whatnot. So wait, when did I roll damage twice? Uh, it did it already. It didn't. As, as it, worked, it, it didn't, it just did once. No, it, the plus four is the extra damage you ever roll. No, when you're a half orc, don't you roll a, on a crit, don't you roll an extra okay. die? Do you? Pretty sure. It, yes. it just says plus four for strength. No, the plus four is the number of d6 that he rolls. Savage attacks. We scored a critical hit with a melee attack, though. So this was ranged? Yeah. I see. Okay. Never mind. Bummer. Nice job, Jay. <laughs> All right. Does he get one attack or does he get two? Uh, I think at five, he gets two attacks. Uh, Jay would be dumb enough to climb up the roof. <laughs> okay. Uh, that'll put him right next to this guy, then. Yeah, so he's like, ah, oh, blah, 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 I'm angry at you. Grum Schwantz, your butthole. <laughs> I, Going to get your butt I, I for the grub. Take it in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Guys turned on. See that guy next to you? That's an example of a real man. Oh, we'll see about that. <clears throat> um, he's going to take aim on Nerfwatch, actually. The guy that's next to him or across the roof? Uh, the guy that's next to him. He's coming at you, Urquhart. Um, Attack this with advantage. So I imagine 20 hits. Uh... Probably. I don't think Jay has that much AC. But he takes half. Ten piercing. It's... Plus, since he's a swashbuckle Three to six on that sneak attack. So he's gonna take an extra... So he's gonna take ten damage total. And he's going to do a number attack. Going for 
that Maltese, I think, or two. Alright, 45, now he's down to 35. You get a sneak attack even if no one else is around you? Uh, because he's like a swashbuckler. So I yeah. you only get one attack with sneak attack. Um, he has... You can only sneak attack once per, I think, round. Once per round, yeah. But this guy's multi attack. Um... Nice. Yeah. But I think 13 doesn't hit her clock, right? No, he needs 16. Okay. So that's gonna be his turn. Uh, this guy, he is going to shoot a, let's see. I gotta shoot a range on this first, actually. Doesn't look like anybody Don't look at me. Target Ooh, over here. Why the fuck feet. are you all... Oh, why are you looking over here? Ooh, here it comes. Don't look over here. Are you, are you ready for this? No. <laughs> make a make a deck save over there. I think you have disadvantage on deck save for the pro. Nope, can, I don't. Can anybody get back into the um? There's no uh, there's no, there's no uh, disadvantage, Bram. Right. Can anybody get into into the breach uh, on Discord anymore, or or no? All right, I guess you're right. You don't have to. Alright, that's a good save. 13? Yeah. And this guy is going to back up, actually. Damn, he just threw a fireball at you alone? <laughs> I know, right? This guy's a fucking that. He's gonna take an attack of opportunity? Yeah, sure, go for it. Uh, we'll back. And he's gonna, like, get behind this thing over here. That's gonna be Unbelievable. Uh, he's gonna get behind this so you can't really see it anymore. He's using that as cover. Didn't I ask you if I can get behind the thing over there? You could go back here. So it's like a slanted roof. This is the uh, same thing that he's going behind. No, he, he would be going behind this, not this. Where is he? I guess. You could have told me that. You stupid <laughs> <bitch>. fucking. <laughs> I didn't think about it. Look, I'm strategizing. You... <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't know about you, I'm buddy. fucking. All right. I'm fucking. You can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. And the roof's on fire. <laughs> My roof? Your roof. How on fire? How? Isn't this shit like made out of fucking wood? Like, no. Wood? Look at this. This is definitely like plaster. <laughs> well, it's on fire. <laughs> so you better get out of that fire, boy. I'm gonna fuck you, know you up, boy. You know how the roofs <laughs> are built? <laughs> it makes sense, sir. believable How fast is this fire spreading? <laughs> um, I would say probably 15, I'd say 10 feet per round. 10 feet? This is like in a fucking inferno and moving at an unhuman, inhuman <laughs> speed. Ten it's fucking feet. 10 feet every 6 seconds, 10 feet, Brian? Yeah. Whatever this is, it's very flammable on the screen. <laughs> yeah, the fucking porcelain. What the Gasoline fuck? Gasoline roof. It's not porcelain. Yeah. It's all the fumes from the sewage. This is a this is a broke this is a broke neighborhood, Sean. They're not gonna fire safety. They don't have asbestos, all right. All right, I'm gonna pop a shot off first. Gasoline roofs. They insulate their house with dead bodies. Uh, is that it? Uh, nope. Uh, is there a guy next to him? Yeah, there is. Right. I guess there's Urkelash. Boom. I guess that is a hit Boom! You can uncanny dodge that shit. This fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uncanny dodge just lets you miss something randomly? What does that do? Uh, half the damage. Half the damage. Oh, neat. Oh, so seven. Yeah. And I'm gonna go boop, boop. You should hide behind the fire, Sean. That way, the You're smoke the hides your presence. I'm hiding behind the roof thing. Now they can't see me, right? <laughs> yeah, they can't see you. Fucking guy. Just so I know. Gonna... gonna go over here. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna. Uh, actually, he's gonna charge him, I guess. 16? Uh, he'll cast shields. Yeah. 
Uncuckleavable. <laughs> these fucking bitches. <laughs> what level are these guys? That's two, <laughs> two fireballs, Five. right? And that's, a fucking that's shield. That's level two spells. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's your turn, uh, Perry. Oh wait, you still not, you still much in fact now doesn't hit right now. Unbelievable. Huh? How much movement is it to go on the roof? Uh, it's 20 feet up, so it would need 20 movement. Unless you um, went in the building and went up, but then that's going to take longer. Because these guys were, I'm assuming, on the second floor, so it was climb up. But for you, you gotta climb up 20 feet and then... Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go there. Hold on, dude, wait. I'm what's looking your, up standing what's your, jump. What's your climb speed? I'm looking up standing jump. Hold you on, dude. going 20 feet. Yeah. Hold on, George. It's climbing speed is a different thing. Hold the fuck on, George. Don't wait. Just do. <laughs> yeah, I would say your climbing speed is half your movement. What's your strength modifier, George? This My strength bitch. is eight. This plus four. Eight plus four. What? Is my strength is eighteen. So I have plus four. Okay. Nah, you can't do it. Alright. I don't think you can go that far, George. Unless yeah, you, you'd be like almost oh. at the top. Unless, like, unless you dashed. Unless you dash. Yeah, if you dash, you'd reach him. <clears throat> Yo, do a strength check, fly into the air, and do a leg drop on him. You have spells, George? If I have what? Spells. Leg drop the building and collapse it. There you <laughs> go. I'm just, I'm just gonna hit this guy again with another uh, Eldritch Blast. No, just believe. That guy? In the other roof? Yeah, that guy. With advantage. Um, move back a few feet. I don't think you can go that far. Like here? Yeah. Good shit. Nice. I think I see Arkalash. I got an advantage, don't there. I, right? For what? Arkalash. Why? No. Because he's there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't, you ain't me, him. buddy. <laughs> you ain't me. Roll damage on it. Or actually, you're going to hit Urklash. Uh it's, it's not going to be damage. You're going to knock him down, actually. And he's like kind of sliding down the roof right now. Um, he's Can gonna he have dodge? To do, he's going to have to do a, um, I guess, a deck save to see if he can stay on this roof. Doesn't he have, uh, what's that stupid danger sense? Uh, it's not a trap. This is his friend, Critical Failing. It's, uh, <laughs> you gain up to any sense when things nearby aren't as they should be. <laughs> This yep, is a pretty far course for Barry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it says uh, spells are part of it. He gains advantage on dexterity saving against spells. Just um, saying. Let me read up. Is that, I is that when he's raged? Can I share this? He's also raged, yeah. That someone shot like a fireball at you for this. Uh, it's gonna be a regular right. deck save. All That's right. pretty good uh, though. So you see a fireball coming at you, you got a That's pretty good. You have advantage on deck saves? Alright, um, he stays on the roof. He just slides back a little bit. He's uh, a barbarian. And he's, and he's prone, but that's fine for him. Alright. My apologies, Urkalash. <laughs> Alright, both get returned. Alright, uh, so Falcon's gonna peek out this window, uh, into the darkness, uh, and does he have line of sight against this, uh, ombre over here? Um, he would, um, but he's also in partial cover, so he would get a plus two to his AC on top of the shield that he currently has running, but yeah, you can see him. Sweet. Uh, 
just for the sake of saving Dai, uh, can he see me through the darkness? Um, he cannot. Okay, cool. Then I have an advantage. Um, uh, where's my... Man, I have too many sheets open. Uh, Eldritch Blast. And for Funzy, I got a third because I'm an elf. Natural 20! God damn! This is the whole purpose for me taking fucking elven accuracy, so I get to crit. Roll that effing damage. Uh, and... So, uh... 11 damage. Eldritch Blast, right at him. Alright, um... Pew pew! Alright, uh, this guy is down. Bitch boy. So, uh, he'll yell to Victima, Have your chicken eat his eyes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no, I'm sorry, he's yelling this, so, Have your chicken eat his eyes. <laughs> and um, the other guy's gonna yell out. His body wasn't very good, now was it after all? Whoa, what? They may be possessed. Oh, I thought that you just said that Victima was right about you. <laughs> what? Bounty and hunters are take lame. Over people's bodies. That's a good racket. <laughs> I'll show you lame. Yeah, it looks like he's getting ready to come down on the roof. And... You know, oh, is this lady boy too. ready to come down and, and brawl? Oh, I'm more than ready to brawl. I'm ready to break your balls, kid. How about you put the weapon down and let your fist do the talking? <laughs> I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I challenge you to a duel. You and me, mano y mano. <laughs> yeah? What do you is have to lose? the game we're playing? What dost thou have to lose? <laughs> what dost thou have? <laughs> <laughs> Willing to <laughs> Do we have any spells to ca ca capture these guys in, in, in a body that they're in? No. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm trying to fight this guy hand to hand so I can knock him out. Urklash is raging. He's not going to listen to you. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I uh, or, and I guess it's your turn, right? So I'm inside the I house. Think... Can I step out and nuke this guy's legs? See if I can knock him off the building? Just, just as a out of character thing, I'm, I'm pretty sure this would be an instance where Urklash would tackle him off the roof. Uh, do you Suplex him. Suplex him. Um, what? Uh, I've got uh, like Firebolt, maybe, Chill Touch, and Toll the Dead. Maybe Grease could do something like that. I don't have any fucking spells. <laughs> 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 I still have no spells, and nobody's listening to me. <laughs> And unless you climb up that roof and grab his legs yourself, I don't think you can knock him down. What if I chill touched his knee and it froze his knee so it locked up and he fell? <laughs> what if I got chill a regular touch, knee? Chill touch is not even supposed to be an ice spell. First off, shut your goddamn mouth. I'm Mr. Freeze, goddammit. Ice okay. damage, all right? Uh -huh. Ice damage. We've, we've been over this, all right? Um, I would say, given the situation, uh... You would have to get, I guess, like a total on this attack roll. I guess he has 20 or higher. <laughs> Wait, how? What? Who got the song? My jam! My jam. Who is this, Oren? Uh, I think that's George. <laughs> of course he has that? that song. He has a song on his fucking iPod, that guy. <laughs> I want that song. I didn't even know that DJ's name. Uh, yeah, I'll hit him with, um... If you get on the roof, if you get an 18 or higher, but if you do it from there, a 20 or higher, with the touch. and you're not going to do damage, you're just going to knock him off the roof. Then I'll just, I'll toll the dead. Let's see how that works. He's taking damage, right? Uh, he's taking some damage, for sure. Alright, so can you make a DC 14? Okay. I hope, hope you can't. <laughs> Nice. Right. Yeah. Let me roll low. Let me roll a d12 then. Watch that as well. Fuck. Killed it. All 
All right, I'm just gonna nuke him with the thing. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go hide under the eave of the house, I guess. Urkelos with the tackle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's either he tackles him or uh, attacks with his axe. If he ta uses the axe, he gets an extra attack. Well, it's up to him. What's he gonna do? First off, we all know what he's gonna do. He's gonna powerbomb yeah, this guy off the roof. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna tackle him off the roof. Or oh, ride him down the roof like a sled. Alright, so give me that up, uh, athletics check. Rock, rock, spot holes. Ah, athletics. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. <laughs> what does that mean? Ty goes to the attacker. Yes, fourteen to do something. I guess yes. Urgulash's it's, it's strength is also higher. He's a plus so. six versus plus five. I guess so. Uh, so you yeah, have him grappled. Yo, take him off the fucking roof, son. Suplex him. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... <laughs> I wanted to imagine that, uh... So, Urklosh would stand up and run and run at him, tackle him, and then ride him down the roof like a sled into the ground. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna need a deck save from both of them, then, to see uh, how much... Or if they take damage. Sweet, because uh, Urklosh gets, how was it, uh, extra stuff for d dexterity saves. 15. Alright, uh, he's gonna take the falling damage, and Urklosh, fine. I think it's 2d6, right? Can you take falling damage from that high? I'll take it. It's how much for every feat? And, uh, give another nice. strength save. Nice! Damn! Uh, alright, he's bloody. Uh, give another strength save to see if he keeps the grapple. Uh, you just gotta beat the 14 that you got before. Alright, straight strength or athletics? Uh, just a strength save. Word. Alright, you keep the grapple too. <laughs> so you guys slide down the roof. <laughs> uh, you knock the wind out of him. Um, and you're kind of like... Kind of like prone, but you still like got it. You still got like a like your hand. Nice. So you can't use a reckless attack, right? Uh, nah. Since he like grappled with your shit. Uh, Word. So. Uh, yeah. Urklosh is like, that's right, bitch. Rah! <laughs> so yeah, well, fuck. <sighs> we'll to, I think we'll need to find better. We'll need to find better hosts. This is bullshit. Um, so what he's gonna do is he's actually gonna cast darkness just around him. <laughs> and I guess that's it. It's an action to try and get out of this. So I guess Urquash still has some grab in like darkness. Um, and it's gonna be Victimless' turn, I guess. Grappled in the darkness is a great name for a fucking band, first off. It's true. It's like dancing in the dark. Grappling, grappling, in the dark. grappling with my darkness. Oh shit, that's another good one. Uh, you said this brother over here is knocked out or dead? He's making death saves. I wonder if they can get out their bodies on, unless they die or not. I wonder what it is. What did you say about that? Are these are these guys possessed or something? Uh, we don't know. Alright, I want Kazora to pick this guy up. <laughs> okay. If they do a save the dead or whatever, right? I have spare the dying. Spare the dying. They're just unconscious, right? They're not up. Yeah, they're at zero HP. They're at zero he's HP alive. for whatever amount of hours. Oh, he failed to save, though. Alright, I want Kazora to bring him over to... Vulcan over here. Alright, uh, can he move that far? Uh, he's let's see. Fly. He'll take the fine. He'll take the falling damage if he has to. Well, let's, yeah, he'll just drop down. 
20 feet. I guess he'll take the falling damage if he has to. All right. Mind um, you, Vulcan has no idea what he's doing with the body. The body's also going to take this falling damage then. And that's going to be. Why would it? No, it's on top of this feather. <laughs> fuck out of here. Nah. He's got to climb that, boy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. You know what? He's going to jump 10 feet. Onto those barrels over here, and then he's gonna just hop and off he's over there. Take falling damage. There's no, there's no falling damage over here with on top of these barrels. Yeah, there is. That's at least every ten feet. One d six every ten feet. Yep. All right, he's gonna climb down. Boom, boom. I'm just gonna message this dude with my most message fuck with my mind and tell him to meet Casador halfway and fucking save this guy. I think we can capture him inside this body. Do you want me to save him? I believe that they are trapped in these bodies for as long as they are alive in them. I don't know that they can take their spirits out of a body if it's not dead. So maybe we can get answers out of this guy. What the fuck are you talking about? Did I miss this? <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, okay. uh, Harry, it's your turn. Well, I'm going to get off this brain down with this guy's body, and he's limp, dying slowly. You walk into the darkness, Perry. You can't see anything. I'm gonna. Uh, if I if I see anybody coming out of the darkness, that's a bad guy or an enemy. I mean, I'm gonna pop a shot off at him. Waiting, I'm gonna hold action. <laughs> Falcon's the only one who can see through darkness. Yeah, roll. Um, you'd have to roll perception to see if you can find out where they are. You can probably hear, uh, what's his name, Urkel, screaming. Yeah, you might be able to hear it, so roll perception to see if you can get close to that. Did Perry end his turn right there? He, he just moved over. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh... Say like a third oh, I... team. And you can find them. I mean, couldn't he just mind link with what's his name? Tell him to say where he is, and he'll just like, "I'm right here," and then that's what, then he'll know. That'd be beyond his turn. Yeah, I think so. Thoughts travel at the speed of <laughs> thought. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Perry, you fall into the water. <laughs> <laughs> A big splash, and wait, you're wearing heavy armor, so you're actually sinking to the bottom, Perry. Wait, how deep is this water? You can see the bottom, Brian. You could literally see the bottom. Yeah, Brian. I'd say it's about um, it's about ten feet. So it's enough for you to drown. No oh, shit. This boat doesn't <coughs> even look like it's sinking, uh, Ryan. It looks like a roof. <laughs> it looks like a fucking roof, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see. I want to roll to see right, if I look, grab. Look, I want to see right, if I, I grab the ledge, Brian. This out, Brian. You, you see this boat? Perception roll, boy. You see this boat right over here, Brian? Uh huh. You see how it has a hole in it? You see how much water is in this boat right over here? This like sure, no this water. Isn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is not even analyze it, all right? Look, look. We gotta analyze it. I can only, use, it. It. No, I can only use the map to my advantage, and you guys can't use your advantage. Okay? <laughs> and, and look at this. Look at this wheel. The wheel next to the boat is like floating right above it, right there. <laughs> half right. of it's sunken, um, in and half of it isn't. Right, Perry. Huh. Also, with that critical fail, um, you're gonna lose one minute of breath. In Only shallow water? Yep. yep. That Ten kinda, feet. That kind of knocked the wind out of you. Um, <laughs> you still have your action, so what are you going to do with it? He's gonna, he's gonna end his turn. Alright, uh, Falcon, it's your turn. Yeah. Alright, since, uh, Victima told me to save him, uh, Falcon will, uh, let's see, how far is that? Uh, you can make it on your turn. So. Alright. He'll go out there, um, look at the chicken quizzically, like, uh, alright. 
And then uh, I cast Spare the Dying on the uh, Tiefling. Alright, uh, can you post the spell? Of course. Uh, where's my <laughs> There we go. Spare the Dying. Um, it seems to have no effect on him. Hmm. Uh, okay. check for a pulse. The body might be dead and they're just animating it, I guess. What? Why are you making saving throws? Your logic doesn't make any sense, Brian. Well, you'll have to find out. If you guys find out in the first place. Does he have a pulse? I wonder if they do. Are they zombies? Um, I guess I could just tell you guys. I mean, you can have me roll something. Arcana yeah, or... Uh... Um, they're, they're revenants. I, I think they're they're dead. Then I guess they're dead. They wouldn't have a pulse. Would they make yeah. saving throws, though? Um, the revenant's kind of like a race. So you could actually make like the same rules that apply to players kind of fun. <laughs> Unconscious, I guess. Uh, I uh, I uh, before my turn ends, can I see uh, the other guy? Um, I guess he kind of could. Just wondering if I have line of sight. Um, if you move a little bit, then yeah, you have line of sight. Can I end my turn there then? Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, or it's your turn. Uh, you're so I'm standing. By darkness. Okay, so can I? What do I? What am I doing here? You're in darkness. Uh, you could probably. Can try I see and... this guy rolling around on the ground? That's right next to me, or what? Uh, you could shoot with disadvantage because you're in darkness in that direction where you last saw him. See, I'm wondering how Toll the Dead would work then, because I don't have to do anything at disadvantage. You just you have to, to see them, though. You have to see them. Yeah, you can't really see them. I thought he's standing right next to me. It's in darkness. Dark yeah, you can't see him. I have dark vision. Yeah, this, this is darkness. This is advanced darkness. Oh, <laughs> advanced no, <it's> darkness. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is AP dark. Okay, so I can't see somebody even right next to me. Yeah, you can only hear them. So you can shoot in that general direction if he's there, then you might be able to hit him. I see. Okay. Uh, you know, then the point is, I... you don't see. Yeah. So I have to use echolocation here? Yeah, <coughs> so, Alright, then I'll try to do that. I'll try to use my perception. Yeah, give me a perception oh. check, and then depending on that, you roll your attack. Alright, uh, you can attack with this advantage with this guy. I thought you said I had to beat a 13, right? You didn't say anything. Well, George had to get he had to get a 13 to not fucking kill himself in the water or whatever. <laughs> to be next to this guy. And then to oh, make an okay. attack, he would also attack him. Still <laughs> so with a 13, do I know where he's at or no? You know where he's at, but it's going to be an attack. So. so what the hell am I supposed to do with this fucking saving throw thing? I guess you're supposed to do something else. Because you can't see him, it's darkness. Yeah. Hmm. You don't have, like, a fireball? I yeah. do have a fireball. Yeah, I do. I guess you can do that, right? Shoot your fireball. Or hold an action and wait for somebody to cut jump out of the uh, darkness and shoot whoever you see. Um. Hmm. You can't see anything. He's literally in the darkness. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe I should just try to help um, Harry then. You did hear a large sploosh like someone. Blub, 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 I want his dog so badly to rise up from the dead and save him by diving into the water and pulling him out <laughs> like a super dog. <laughs> Can I head over here and help uh, Perry out of the water then? Mm -hmm. You could walk out of the darkness and then see, and then I guess you could jump down. 
Oh, he's like, how do, how far is the drop from where we are to the water? Probably another 10 feet, so 20 feet total is how deep there is. So 10 feet to hit the water, and then another 10 feet to, uh, to meet Perry at the bottom of the, of the river. Can I even, can I hear him with my perception roll, like, splashing around or whatever? Yeah, you can hear this. Well, you heard the clunk, you heard, like, the clunk of him hitting the water, yeah. Alright, I'll do that then. I'll go over here out of the darkness, and I will throw a rope down to him. Excuse me. Okay. Whoa! And, uh, <laughs> Let's go for those guys. You can, uh, you can go here. Why can't I follow- wait, if they're out- if they're over near the edge, why can't I follow the, um... You're walking in complete, absolute darkness, like, right, you don't know where you're going. Shut up! Shut up! What if I follow the edge of the house? I can touch it with my hand with my right hand and follow it until I'm out of the darkness. I suppose that's that. So I get out of the darkness yes, over here. Space, yeah, I'll follow the the thing around. Besides, I'm a gnome, I'm tiny. So I could I could follow the edge of the house around until I'm out of the thing and then I'll throw Perry the rope to haul him up. Alright, and as you throw the rope, a shark comes down. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch! A shark grabs the rope and pulls you in. Okay. Uh, do I have to... What do I have to do then with the rope thing? Or is it on... Perry, does he have to lift, lift himself up on his turn? Um, yeah, he would have to lift himself up on his turn. Alright, well, they'll have... To, you know what I'll do? I'll tie it around something to... <clears throat> you know. I'll tie one end around something and I'll throw him the other end. Alright, let's see how lucky you are. Do you want to be fucking lucky to throw a rope, <laughs> you son of a bitch? You're right, throwing it into the find, darkness. You find something to tie it around like that. You're not sure how sturdy it is, but, uh... Perry could give it a try. Hold, hold on a minute. Wait, wait, let me let me think about this for one second. Cause, <laughs> come on. <laughs> let me, hear me out here. You can You can drag... 15 times your strength score, right? Uh-huh. Oh, wait, no, is it, is it 30? If you hold on to the rope, you can probably pull a pair, yeah. If you're tying it to something, but... Um, you can push, drag, something. or lift. Push, drag, or lift is 30 times your strength score. Mm -hmm. Your carrying capacity. So, my strength score is... What is it? My strength score is 10. So, it's 30. So, does he weigh 300 pounds? I can get him out, in other words. Yeah. Me, myself. I, I don't have to tie it to anything. I can but get I mean, him out myself. There's like his weight, there's the armor's weight, there's Perry's weight, there's, there's the Perry's weapon's weight, there's Perry's shield's weight, there's Perry whatever else is Perry's carrying weight. I guarantee you all of that doesn't equal 300 pounds. A gnome could lift Perry out of the water. Yeah, that's like 180 plus all that, maybe like 50, 60 pounds. So I could get him. He's still like 250 feet tops, probably. I could get It's It's maxing out, but I can get him. I could get, I could get lift up to three hundred, or I could drag up to three hundred pounds by myself, so I can get Perry up. Perry's also pulling, pulling you. No, I'm gonna be whatever. It'll be basically the same fucking thing. Like it's three hundred pounds of force on me. I know. I'm just saying you might want to tie it off because he's gonna be pulling on the rope, so he's actually oh, also okay. adding to the tension yeah, against you. Yeah, so that's gonna be some strength back. Why would it need to be anything like that at all? If he's doing a... I could... I say, hold on to the rope, and I could drag 300 pounds up. Why do he's I have to do anything? Water. He can't what, hear so you. what is in water? What is, what is this thing in the thing? Lifting and carrying on page... Uh, what is this one? 176 in the PHP. Alright, um, can... I guess it's your turn. <laughs> 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 Brian just wants to fuck me over a little bit more than he already is. <laughs> I mean, if we're bringing out the rule book, I just want to... All right, uh, Urklash is gonna pull out his great. Wait, do you need two hands for great sword? Um, yeah. Can he still grapple with the great sword? Um, I guess he would be attacking like one handed. Uh, so then he'll pull out. Hand to grapple, yeah. All right, so I guess he would use his hand axe then. Okay. He would have advantage, right? Um, since well, you, you don't get advantage for grappling someone in the first place. Um, and since it's darkness, I would probably say, um, probably regular because you are grappling, at least. Otherwise, if you weren't, I'll, I'll give you regular. Uh, regular uh I mean, 
I, since this is his first melee attack, can I use reckless attack? So what did he manage? Uh, yeah. He lose. He gets advantage against him, but he also takes advantage on attacks. Then you would, yeah, but you would attack again then, and go with the next roll. Okay. Uh, which one is his? Yes. That's lame. He rolled a one. Mm. This um, is plus six. Wait a minute. Doesn't make sense. Well, yeah, actually, it doesn't. His... It, no, wait, wait, it does make sense because it's plus two proficiency to hit. It's plus yeah. four strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I get plus two strength from berserk, so I get seven damage. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. But then uh, he gets one extra attack because of his um, what the hell is it? Frenzy. He doesn't have a two hand. Well, I guess he's using one hand to grapple. Yeah, because he's grappling. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna do another attack. Okay. Uh, with 20 hit? 20 hits. Okay. <laughs> 10. Better. Our, uh, uh, yeah. Can anyone cunning dodge while grappled? Uh, yeah, grappling doesn't really much. It's only when you turn somebody or something. Alright. Yeah, well, it really doesn't get really good with uh, Wait, is the darkness spell concentration? Yeah. Oh, I guess it might be, right? Oh, both. Both hits. Let's go. He's about to open up for himself to a can of whoop-ass. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> that's one pass. Both passes, alright. Nice. Oh, son of a bitch. You all should right. drag it. Mm, I guess it doesn't matter. I was gonna say you should drag him out of the darkness. Alright, this guy's gonna try and... Alright, um, we're trying acrobatics out here. <coughs> uh, athletics to see if you could keep him Alright, uh, Arclosh, athletics, come on, buddy, you can do this. Bummer. Alright, uh, he escapes to grapple. Uh, with that, he is going to take the disengage action. And with his cunning action. He's going to back up, and he's going to jump into the water. Can he see out of the darkness? No, but he's just going Perry. to back up, and then the fog into the water. <clears throat> Perry's going to use his reaction to grab him. <laughs> 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 Uh, I don't see why he shouldn't roll a concentration. What, for darkness? For dropping, uh, like, just dropping like that. Ten feet into the water. Um, I mean, you don't take damage to fall into the water. Sure, but if he's in the water and he's concentrating on a spell, and all of a sudden this, I mean, this, it's the logic of concentration, not the, the wording. So. Does he do a backflip? That's all that matters. Oh yes, shit, he does! He does. <laughs> alright, so he's, he's alright. <laughs> um, Perry, you... He's... Like, ten feet up as he falls into the water. Maybe he plunges a little bit. Um, you're kind of weighed down by your armor at this point. Um, what do you mean he's ten feet up? You told me before the water was ten feet deep. Yeah, but I guess he plunges like five feet, so he's near you for a second. Um, but you're a little slow underwater, so you can do an I'm athletics. like six foot tall. <laughs> you can do an F no, you, you you see him. Um, you can do an athletics check. Uh, but it's gonna be a disadvantage because you're underwater and you're slowed down like significantly. Uh, well, this guy's not really wearing armor that would like weigh him down as much as you I are. think George should still reach him, but George is at least five feet no, tall. No, I'm saying George he... can reach him for a moment. But he's doing okay. this at this well, it doesn't matter because you gotta look at him both. 
Oh, damn. All right, you actually figure out the... <laughs> Does that mean Orun lets go of the rope? Because uh, that's more weight than he can carry. Uh, question. Uh-huh. Is the, I'm putting him in the, a sleeper is hole. Darkness, is the darkness now down in the thing? Can can uh, no? It doesn't follow. Him? It doesn't follow him. I, I got him in a sleeper hole on himself. No, it's on the ground. It extends in a 15 uh, diameter sphere. Okay, yeah, so he's not covering darkness. Okay. Um, oh, so as soon as he went out of the dark, I should be able to pop a shot off at him. Uh, this guy fails never save. <clears throat> Brian. Uh, do you want to pop a shot off at him? Well, that's my reaction. My reaction was, if I see him, I, I shoot him. All right. Uh, fire that shot, my guy. That is a mess. I don't think you have double move back. No, but it's my turn now, right? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, he's underwater now, though. I think you would you shoot into the water with disadvantage? I wonder. I don't think so. Bus, how far deep is he? <laughs> I guess it's not that deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, sure. Alright, I guess you end up knocking this guy out too. He's underwater and he's failing to. I guess he's driving a good deep breeze, so it doesn't matter. Alright, right, combat's over? Yeah, it's a combat's over. Um, I'll give this guy one more. I guess, um, Falcon. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any solution for this guy that's over here dying? We could we could do a medicine. We could do medicine. Do medicine or arcana yeah. to understand what's going on. Okay. Uh, your choice. Yeah. Um. Probably. Uh, that would work. Um, so you could do medicine. Medicine to stabilize. Yeah, medicine is to stabilize. Oof. All right, that is not a good, good. roll. Death saving throw. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you still have the other one. All right, Falcon will go through one. the guy's pockets. Let's see if there's anything interesting on him. Save the other one, Perry. Um, what you find on him is a bunch of like uh, you find some like kind of standard clothing. Um, he has one funds on him actually. Nice. Uh, that would help because I'm minus two, minus three, whatever the group uh, average is. And he also has a spell book on him. A what? Spell book. Oh, neat. Falcon will pocket that and probably give it to everyone. Yep. And on top of that, he has like a bunch oh, of like a, he's like a necklace with a bunch of like shark's teeth on it. Um, All right, Falcon will pocket that. Okay. Is there anything on him? He'll pocket. And uh, for Jay's character, he will run over to Arun. Actually, no. He... Jay's character can't. Wait, is the darkness oh, gone? gone? He's dead. Yeah, he's unconscious. Gone. Uh, oh, you can't concentrate on things when you're dead. <laughs> All right, it's uh, true. Barry, you're gonna want to start moving. Actually. Urkelosh would help Arun with the rope and okay. pull him up. All right, I want to pull this guy up. We'll give him one. Up we go. Can you guys tell me what the hell happened when I was gone? Because I was gone for a little bit. Why do you, what's going on with these guys? Are these possessed or something? They're bounty hunters. All right, I want to medicine check them. Honestly, we don't know. We just know they were attacking us. Um, I'd say if enough people, um, it would be enough rolls. I think you guys could eventually stabilize them. Yeah. All right, yeah. And we tie him up and we just, just roll them. He'll be back up in an hour. All right, we disrobe. Uh, this guy also has one fund on him. And he also has a like, well. shark teeth. Yeah. Does, well, it, does it go to everybody, or just the person who gets who loots him? <laughs> I guess it's up to you guys to determine how this goes. Uh, you right, two well, funds total. Okay, so two funds. We'll, we'll just put it in the company coffers. Alright guys, and then when we get enough, we can split it again. Yep, uh, Oren, can you analyze this? These necklaces, are they magic? I'll 
Yeah, I'll, I'll look over the shit that they uh they dropped. If uh if um if Falcon's gonna tell me what the thing, so I'll do an Arcana check. Nice. That is a nice nice roll. Um. Can you just ritual cast uh? Detect magic spell or something. I can't actually do that yet. Good point. I could. Please, yes. okay. But Good how point. can we get the fuck out of here? Can we? Uh, can we get started? Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, can? Oh, who has a uh, mold water or, or shape water? Can we put the fucking fire out so we're just not like? Oh yeah, Falcon already did that. Oh no, that other Look building's gone. <laughs> it's gone. That is gone. Uh, yeah. There's no amount of shaping water that's going to save that building. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. Building. All right. That, move, that building is moving 10 feet every six seconds. That that building is gone. Can I do ice? Can we do mold mold water and... No, touch? I've abandoned the building. Look, I'm, I'm looking for... Block, All right, uh, whatever. This other building is going to catch fire too. <laughs> can I do... Uh, Let's can get I do... out of here, guys. <laughs> Can I do a chill touch to try to? Uh, I did I put, that before, didn't I? I put I put this guy on Casador. <laughs> okay, sure. And I'm bouncing. Uh, there are two fires happening now. <laughs> I'm gone. That's it. This building, <laughs> these buildings are gone. Uh, Falcon will go to the secretary's building and mentally tell her she might want to. Uh, Take her brother and flee. The neighborhood's going to catch fire. <laughs> I did that like I did that the, the first thing. <laughs> she didn't. I didn't hear anything about her, so I just assumed she was still in the building. The first thing we did, even before I entered combat, I did that. I was like, "Get the brother, get the fuck out of here." I did. Did she? Yeah. yeah but then you guys put out the fire, and she went back inside. Yeah. Did she? All right. So yeah. Falcon yeah. will Falcon tell her. It's like. Yeah, the neighborhood's going up. You'll want to leave with your brother. Falcon, if me and you both... Brian, if Falcon and I shape water and chill touch the fire, can we put Falcon's it Falcon's not sticking around. I'm sorry, Jason. He's, <laughs> this is an area that you don't want to be in when the right. bad guys come back. I would All right, say let's the other house, okay. yes. But if you're leaving, then no. All right, I'll do that on the way out, then. Because I can uh, chill um, touch you would, it. You would need Falcon's help to put out the fire on the other building. The one that just caught fire. So Didn't I put the fire out in the, uh, in the tavern? Uh, you put the fire, you put, like, some fires out in, uh, Artemis house. I mean, Artemis shop. Yeah. So do I need anybody else to help me with it? Um, yeah, this is, like, a house fire, and whatever these buildings are made of is super flammable, so you, you would need Falcon's help. <sighs> Alright, he's you know leaving. What? <laughs> Logic wise. The they're coming. You hear that? Alright. Yeah, that, that's them. <laughs> They're on their way. Is can we? Yeah, is is there, there any witnesses to all this shit? Uh, only the people oh, in the house. You're right. We should lock the door so our secretary can't leave. Let's get the fuck out of here. This is <laughs> just getting Yay. started. Yeah. So Falcon right. lets her know that she should leave with her brother, but doesn't <laughs> offer any help. Okay. The all neighborhood's right, going up. Oh yeah, what about your dog, Perry? You're gonna get him? Alright, she's gonna head to the office. I asked you to take care of him for me. We're heading to the office. Yeah, I'll take Perry, I'll take Pluto from you. After everything's said and done. So before or um Falcon gives Orin the spell book, he's gonna look through it to see if there's any uh ritual spells that he can copy. Uh let me share what's in the spell book actually. Are you giving it to me? Nice. Uh, I will, after I copy any ritual spells in there. Um, so what you find is armor of... Actually, you no, know, that's a racial one. Uh, shield, thunder wave, burning hands, cold person, web, fireball, and stinking cloud. Are any of those, um, uh, ritual? Can you, can you post so. them in the chat so I could... Put them in my, uh, put it, like, right what it has. Um, and you can write any of these two into your spellbook right now, for free. Me? Yeah. 
Really? Yeah, I'll hook you up. Except I can for, do all of them? Except for Fireball and Stinking Cloud. You can write any other two. Oh, because I don't have the spell slot for Fireball yet? Yeah, you're not, you're not level, you don't have level 3 spells yet. I thought you could write it down, you just can't use it. Oh, if that's the case, then sure. I can get all these for free? That's sick. Alright. You could write down two of them right now. Okay. Uh, then I'll take, um... I don't know... What does Stinking Cloud do? I don't even know what that spell does. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Can you cast that spell? <laughs> yeah, but he did two fireballs. Is that like a third level spell or something, or no? It's third level. Oh, okay, uh, I can't uh, even use it yet. Yeah, he can't use it, yeah. Yeah, he could write oh, it, but he level... can't use it. Oh, okay, okay. And what level do you get third level spell slots? Uh, set five? five? Yeah, your next level. Okay. So, Stinking Cloud, is that good? It's damn good. Do I have to decide right this second? No, no. you can take your time. Alright, then I'll look at them and I'll tell you later. Alright. <laughs> old Person seems like very, very good, though. Yeah, Old Person's pretty damn good. Um, so... I guess you guys are gonna return to the office and observe your bodies and then get oh, Somebody's got it again. Somebody's clapping cheeks. Uh, so, what's his name? Falcon will tell Arun uh, that uh, these bodies seem to be different than normal. Spare the dying did not work on them. When I tried to conjure why this would not happen, I couldn't find out. I couldn't ascertain why. Maybe you'll have better luck understanding what these people are. Can I uh, do a check on them? We only have the one guy, right? Yeah. Oh, we both. We, can we bring brought both the guys? Why not? We have one corpse and the other guy. How about uh, how about we um, tie up the other guy, though? I do a rope. We tie him up, Brian. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, and put, like, something to tie and close around his mouth. I don't want him, him. I don't want him biting his tongue or something. <laughs> you don't want him killing himself? <laughs> yeah. Gag. Can I ascertain what these guys are? They're tieflings, right? Uh, yeah. So, if you could do the tech magic on the, uh, I guess you could do the tech magic on them, and also do the tech magic on... Uh, necklaces. The necklaces that they have. Sure, I'll I'll uh, ritual cast it. Okay. Um, which one do you want me to do first? Oh, do we have the papers that they had with the bounties on them? Um, I guess we could do. I guess we could do the necklaces first, though. Okay. So the necklace, uh, it seems to be some kind of token, like a shark's tooth. Um, and it seems to be, like, magically embedded with some kind of spell in it. Um, both of them have, like, five shark teeth on their necklaces. Three of them are faded, and two of them seem to be, like, uh, fresh and still have, like, some magical potential in them. Um, and it seems that there's a specific, like, phrase, uh, like a specific word that might be tied to these necklaces. Um, and after some, uh, like, talking with, uh, Stella as well, um, you uncover that these are, uh, like, these are what they use to, uh, <clears throat> keep track of, like, bounties at the courts. So within them, um, has either the alias or the description of your, uh, of, like, a bounties contract. Um, so pretty much, if they're able to, like, present this with, like, the special phrase that they have to utter that's tied to this, uh, bounty, um, it'll, like, uh, give either the name or description of this person. And typically, if you go to like an establishment or like some kind of like guard, um, they might look the other way because you have this necklace and you're like tracking down a bounty. So this kind of gives you like in that crew, like a little bit of leeway. This uh, shark's tooth necklace um, to hunt down like certain people that are like um, wanted for various reasons. You can't hear me. Hello? Wow. Oh, 
Hello? Can you guys hear me? Hey, Brian. Hey, what's up? All right, this is working for me again. Oh, the, guys, the, the, guys, yeah. the Discord's working again, by the way. I don't know what happened with it before. It's back. It's working for me again. All right. What do you want to tell them, Brian? Um, can they join the Discord or not? Can you guys join the Discord for a minute? So you can join the Discord now? Go for it, yeah. Sorry. This is fucking weird. Oh, there you go. Your mic? Oh, yeah, there you go. I saved it. Tom, you're deaf and muted on Discord. There you go. <laughs> George, you coming? What did I leave off on? Uh, There's two bounty to this place before, and before like. Before you do this, get out of the. Turn off your chat. Um, in the uh, world. <clears throat> yeah, I turned that off. Um, so essentially, what these two no, you are. Don't. You can see. mute the manually through roll 20. Yeah, disable that. It should be right Now it is. Okay, um, so essentially what you get, so I guess, essentially what these necklaces are, are they what, they are what the, um, like the courts use to mark, uh, certain bounties. So there's a certain phrase that you utter into these, uh, shark's teeth, and it will either say the bounty's name or their description, uh, depending on what the court has, um, and pretty much you could use this to go to like certain, like some establishments, if they respect the court's authority, or certain guards, if they respect the court's authority, um, they put a lot of stock in these uh, shark's teeth necklaces. So, <clears throat> pretty much it has like a unique phrase that like, uh, only like the bounty hunters would know, and then like the establishments might know. Um, and once you utter this phrase, um, it'll like say their name or like alias or whatever, right? And, Pretty much just gives you like not free reign, but um, if they respect the court's authority, they're like, okay, we'll look the other way if you're hunting this bounty. That's pretty much like the gist of it. Um, since you guys didn't hear it last time, we're just like rushing through it. Okay. <clears throat> Do you share that with us? Yeah, I'll tell him. I'll probably ask Victim if he knows the password because he probably knows about this stuff more than anybody else. Victim. You might want to hold on to the spellbook then as evidence that that fire was started by them. Uh, I'll hold on to it. I have to. I'll have to look at this to see if I could uh, discern uh, what school they're from or what um, whatever, what what uh, bounty group they're with or whatever. Is there any the markings on them? Is what now? The turtle hermit school. The turtle hermit. All right. Yep. Ah, the great mage Roshi. Hmm. <clears throat> um, so you're trying to determine what school they're from. Uh, I guess you could do like an investigation check. Okay. Um. How's that? Damn good roll. Um, so, kind of what you ascertain about um, this spellbook and like the origins of uh, where it's from, uh, there is. Sorry, I have to do that. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there is like a necromancy school um, and like, kind of like a magical school um, within Necrum. Um, 
It's kind of like this one's kind of like not too well known within like a uh, Belisari, um, but they do like a lot of like uh, mostly necromancy, but they also do train wizards as well. They do what now? They primarily work in necromancy, but they also do like evocation magic as well and things like that. What the fuck did we get ourselves into? <laughs> it's like a it's like a minor school though. It's not very. Long. We got bounty hunters on two of us. Did we? Did we know who they were going after? Yep. Harry uh, and. Uh, five, yeah. Harry and Erfly. What did they both do? Mm -hmm. Could it be that it killed the guy? Yeah, they no. fought the. Uh, yeah, they you fought. Guys the... Literally said, "Oh, you know, there's no consequences." Yeah, this guy just happened to be a session. <laughs> 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 like literally nice. when you started saying that I was like I actually have something planned but I don't want to like, spoil it it was oh, self defense uh, so um could I say that I threw my, my hat in the uh, alley or in the in the water or whatever um yeah you could have gotten rid of it for sure I wanted to do that anyway so I wanted to, I'm gonna dump that fucking thing I want to get rid of it the only person that still has Herkulash. a nice tracker on them is Herkulash. Yeah. All right, so I now know, I'll share that with everybody, what I know about the group that they're with. And um, what, and can I find out why, um, did I see that um, Vulcan was using Spare the Dying on this guy and it wasn't working? He would have told, he just told me yeah, that. He would have told me everything. Can I find out why that doesn't work then? That's what he was trying to get you to do, is to do an arcana check on them. That's what he was oh, yeah, saying yeah. before. Yeah, so, um, I would say since everyone's here, uh, you can spend some time. It'll probably be, like, people, like maybe 10, 20 minutes to, um, ascertain it with just some, like, research. Um, and pretty much what you uncover is, um, that, yeah, these guys are revenants. Uh, they seem to be bound to some goal that's not letting them die. Um, so... Either they're going to die in these bodies, and then their spirit is going to leave this body and find another host, or they'll just keep coming back to life within these bodies if these bodies aren't destroyed completely. Okay, let's go ahead and tie this one up. <laughs> <laughs> tie this one up and gag it, for sure. And all you know uh, is something as strong as a wish spell is the only thing that could really banish their, uh, their souls, like eternally. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and tie this one up, gag it. <laughs> well, we can banish their bodies eternally if you throw them in a coffin and throw them in the ocean. Um, a strange. revenant. <laughs> what the fuck? I guess. Brutal eternity. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good way to go. I thought I thought these guys were tieflings. There's something else. They're revenant. Okay. Yeah, you can be a revenant. Rev tiefling. Rev tiefling. You can be a revenant yeah. of any race. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, this place is wild. All right, so All right. Um, when he gets up, we'll... all right. So you want to fast forward to uh, this guy waking up? Yeah, and we'll and we'll just threaten him with the coffin in the ocean. How about our resident charisma person? Oh yeah, I guess that's yeah, I guess. that's not fair. I mean, like, uh, are we gonna fake jest or uh, do I have to take over now? Or will oh. Perry Cruz have it? Uh, Perry probably is not as good as you. I mean, I, I focused on deception, so I didn't stand on Jess' toes. Otherwise, I would have put points into uh, persuasion. Sure. Or... Anybody want to play Jess? Is he, is he still here? He's hanging out at the place over here? Is he going to rejoin the game? Mm. Good question. All right, you I'm know gonna, what? No. Nah. 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 Perry, you got persuasion? Yes, I do. Oh, go, go, you silver tongued bastard. All right. Just repeat. Uh, after he's going to wake up. Uh, he's going to crack his neck. He's going to see that his mouth is gagged. He's going to look around at all of you guys. And if you can see the back of his hands, because I guess they're tied behind his back, uh, he's like giving like a middle finger. Or actually, he's going to get up and he's going to like turn around and like reveal the middle finger. And then he's going to like turn his head to smile at you guys. All right, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bend them over. <laughs> I'm just table. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, 
if if you're not careful, you know, you can stick something else up here, right? Oh man, Urgalash failed on both. <laughs> so Urgalash tries to tackle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what he's gonna do is Urgalash's gonna go in for the tackle. Um, as he's giving this middle finger, he's gonna jump up. Uh, Urklash is gonna stumble onto the floor because he just misses him. He just dodges too quickly, and he's gonna be sitting on top of Urklash's back. And he's still like uh, and giving you guys a finger though with his back turned, sitting on Urklash now. All right, so I'm gonna bend him over Urklash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pull down the pants. And he just, he just goes, and... Mm. and I'm gonna be like, you stick that middle finger up. I'm gonna stick something else up your ass. He flips this another. Fucking... He flips another middle our... finger. <laughs> My this intimidation doesn't talking, work. Right? I can't try and intimidate this guy. Um, not if he's down with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna break his middle finger. <laughs> okay. All right, so what do we... I guess the strength, you can That's pretty easy. My for fail. <laughs> All right, uh, you break his middle finger. And he just goes, hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's still gagged, I imagine, right? You know what? Yeah. I don't, his, him bleeding out probably doesn't matter because he could just come back to the... He would just, he would mostly come back from the body, right? Even if his tongue is bitten? Um, I guess, yeah. As long as the body's not yeah. completely right. destroyed. Yeah, so you come back to his body anyway. So you know what? Un 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 unbind his mouth. Okay, so you untie his mouth. Yeah. He's going to, like, crack his jaw. <sighs> what gracious host you are. Aren't well, we? What's all right, we're the best. All right. You've bested. Well, How do we get rid of the bounty? Get rid of the bounty? Of the... Well, I suppose your friends could turn you in. Uh, aside from that. Well, we were waiting for uh, him to wake up. Did we get a short rest in there? Um, you guys could get a short rest, yeah. Great. Sorry to cut you off. Oh, no problem. no problem. Yeah, so, to the question. I guess you could mosey on down to the courts. See if you could uh, get that all rectified. Maybe talk to the contractor, and he'll be willing to maybe uh, settle everything. Who is the contractor? Just bring, your, just bring your nice, vulnerable little bodies there. Hmm? Well, why don't you just tell us uh, who your contractor ASMR. is? Some ASMR. What's his name? I don't know. I only saw the ten funds inside. This looks like the job for me. Uh, so a bright guy like yourself wouldn't try and figure out who his contractor is before he took a job? He's gonna give like a wide grin. No, I just like kill him. Well, it looks like he didn't get much killing done. Mm, I suppose not in this life. Uh, my brother's a bit of a dolt, you see. Always so eager to go, just guns and things. So, what do you mean, in this life? Well, if you haven't deemed it by now, uh, something's keeping us in this world. We just can't die. Can I talk to him about that exact thing? I want to learn more about it. <laughs> okay. I want to learn more about his unlife, his undeath. So how do you come back? What is this are magic we all, that you Are do? we all sidelined by the, his, his unlife? Do we not yeah, care about the cool. battle? Have you ever met anybody like this? It's pretty awesome. It's a town full of people like this, isn't it? <laughs> no! Have we ever met a revenant ever? Uh, in know, our I life? guess you guys haven't read a revenant, but um, there's definitely not directly a of necromancers that can do a lot. Yeah, of they're pretty rare, then, right? Uh, revenants are like kind of rare. They they only come back because they have like a goal in life hmm. that they're like so, yeah. going to and wouldn't let them die. So yeah, I like to learn more about this. He's just going to say, "Well, my brother and I, uh, <laughs> when we were growing up, we said, 
All we're gonna do is make sure that there's no more bounties in the world. We're gonna take on every single last job. And, well, this one seemed easy enough. Stupid little orc. Some poor human. Fortunately, they turned out to be a little more formidable than he predicted. Did the revenants, for you did the have, revenants have to uh, make a deal with the devil, or like, how did they get immortality like this? Um, he's not too sure, but he's just like, we just have this drive, and it seems to be just pulling us back, pulling us back, and pulling us back in. Can I insight this to see if I can figure out what it causes? Um, I guess you could. Roll inside it. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm uh, trying to figure out how to bring my fucking wife back. I want to know about how to resurrect people and keep um, bringing them back. Make it crit, you could put the, um, the cure up one point. Um, <laughs> yes! <laughs> and he's just going to share, um... I don't know, but, uh, we were in the middle of a job and we both ended up dying. Not that much unlike today, actually. <clears throat> and our souls just wandered listlessly and, well, not listlessly, we were filled with uh, determination. And we found some uh, corpses, we breathed life back into them. And that seemed to keep happening every time we died on a job. Actually, I'm not sure how successful we've been in the past. Is your brother going to come back in this body or another one? He's going to look over at his brother. He's not doing too bad. He'll probably come back in this one. I'd give him about eight hours. Do you want it to end? Well, I don't like being tied up, but... Unlife gives you a lot of patience, my friend. Mm, I'd like to end guy. something that you want. What's that? Is the end something that you want, or do you wish to continue to live this unlife? I think we'll be satisfied with that once all of the bathrooms in the world have been uh, taken care of, yes. So, yes, I, we could start I with can, these ones. I could give you and your brother peace right now if you'd like. I'm sorry. And how I, about doing that little one? I still have the necro dust. <laughs> I wonder what that would do to someone that's already dead. It, when, I thought you said it would turn them into undead, brain dead people for the, forever, right? Um, yeah, we'll do that. Some, I don't know. Um, so I don't know if that would do that to people that are already dead. Well, look at this. Think well, about this. Their their soul is stuck in the body if they keep resurrecting, but the fucking necro dust makes their body immortal and makes them brain dead forever. So I could end him forever, or his brother, one of them, right? Or is this enough for both? I suppose you could do it to... Yeah, I mean, if you have one packet, I'm sure you could do it to one of them. I suppose. I, could, I could give one of you a uh, respite from this. It'll only be temporary, though. There's it's forever! Leave. It's forever, and it's not exactly a respite. Their spirit will leave and find another body. I don't um, know about that. I don't think so. He's going yeah, to smile and be like, eh, you could do my little brother. Hmm. And he gives like a he wide smite. I'll... I have a way that can get you free. Mm -hmm. They don't want to die. Well, they don't. They don't know what they don't. They don't know what they want. <laughs> you gotta they convince. They don't them. want to die. They want to solve. They keep coming back lives. because there's there's stuff that they want to do. What if they believe their task is done? They don't. They want. They love their job. But what if they believe it's over? All right, trick them. <laughs> but seriously, why are we still here? How do we? Why do we care? We got to take care of the bounty. You figured out your little thing about well, their actually, immortality. Why do we care about if they live? Or... Do you yeah. guys want to? Do you guys want to keep going? It's midnight now. Uh, it's up to you guys. Yeah, I think we should continue this another time. Everybody yeah. usually is all fucking tired at 11.30, and Jay's not here anyway, so... Yeah. Well, I kind of like the idea of coming back for Jay finding out that his character is underneath uh, another one that's completely tied up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say we could, we could call it tonight. This was actually pretty good. 
think we made some progress here. Any levels? Um, I was gonna level you guys up after you finished like, this entire like, mystery arc, but at the same time, at the rate you guys are going, <laughs> this is never gonna happen. Yeah, we never. We never. We didn't earn anything. We're never gonna talk to her, Brian. Yeah, we're gonna completely destabilize the pro political sphere of this world, <laughs> or this uh, area, before we actually talk to her. So we won't need to. Yeah, I feel like I'm putting you guys on this a completely different mission now. <laughs> it feels kind of like that. Yes. Um, you know what? Because I was planning on making it harder from here on out anyway. Um, I guess I could give you guys another level. I could put you guys to five. You shouldn't have to feel pressured to fucking level us up because somebody said something. But we were all thinking it. Did we get into a lot of comp? We got into like two combats, right? Um, it's been we a great experience for it's, getting out of combat. It's been a lot of it's been a lot of sessions. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna level to five next time. Because I was thinking it. Because if you guys went to Rose Storms, um, you potentially could have finished it like then. Like you could have finished it tonight if you guys went straight there. Wow. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Could have, though. Um, so, I'd say you, you guys can level up. Should we go to That's five? Next game is. We're gonna go there. Screw the bounties. Alright. Are we gonna... I wanna... No, I'm really interested in this guy. <laughs> Undead things that keep coming back to life. I wanna find out more about them. Plus, they're gonna keep coming after Perry and Urklosh forever. So, that's another thing we have to take care of, too. As long as there's a bounty on him. And that also, yep. um, I guess you guys could find out more about uh, some other bounties. So it may not just be them that's after a flash pair. Oh, are we supposed to do, um. Are we supposed to do, for hit dice, uh, are we supposed to roll or take the average? Hi, um, I think everyone's been taking the average. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Can we roll if we want to or, or no? Uh, if you roll, roll in here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look at the. I'll look at all the uh, spells and shit, and I'll tell you for next time. Okay. So I gotta do all my spells. I'm not gonna do it now. I'll I'll tell you what. Are we getting a long rest in here too? 